What's up guys, Ruxin34 back, and here it is, the 10,000 subscriber every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! opening is finally here. I know you guys waited way longer than you thought you were going to have to. It took so long to get all these packs. I will go through like some of the troubles, and I'll go through the cost of getting every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! My plan was to get every first edition pack, and for the most part, like 99% we did. There's 237 total packs here. I got as many of the packs. I don't think I missed anything except maybe something obscure, but I think I got everything here. We did end up, I was going through yesterday setting up for the video today, and I realized I was missing Crimson Crisis, Fusion Enforcers, and Cybernetic Horizon. So I was like, well, it was a huge bummer. It had been like two months, and I'm like trying to get all the packs, and then like I found out that the Cybernetic Horizon guy never shipped, so then I had to go uh, buy it. so we went out to Walmarts everywhere. We went to like 10 Walmarts. We found some unlimited ones for Cybernetic Horizon and Fusion Forcers. And I opened one of these tins, by the way, which is, by the way, the giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away one of these sealed Power Tool Dragon tins. These are pretty expensive, pretty awesome. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and let me know in the comments. What is the next huge opening you want to see from me? Just let me know any idea you have. It can be whatever you want. Yu-Gi-Oh related, of course. So let me know. And that will then you're entered into the giveaway to win this Power Tool Dragon Tin. That's all you got to do. So make sure you guys do that. And so I opened up one of those. I grabbed an Unlimited Crimson Crisis. So we have three Unlimited Packs in here. And everything else is First Edition if possible. Obviously, the Tournament Packs and stuff like that are not First Edition. Yeah, so make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Thank you guys for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. I know we're well past it because I was I couldn't get all the packs. It was that difficult. I'll just kind of I'll kind of tell you guys some of the most difficult packs for me to pick up. But yeah, this is going to be a super long video. Sit back, grab your popcorn. Hope you guys do enjoy it because it's it costs a lot. And by the way, I'll show the cost. I spent about 3,600 to 700 dollars, and honestly, that was cheap because people, a lot of people gave me either free packs or a discount on the packs because they knew it was going to this video. So if you wanted to do it as well, like it would cost, I think even more because, and then I had to buy, I had to buy like whole boxes of stuff just to get like one pack or like whole like tins and stuff like that. And I didn't actually count that in the cost. I just divided it by how many packs were in there. So realistically, it probably cost me like it probably would cost you like four and a half thousand and it cost me a little bit more. So this was a very expensive opening, obviously. And we are almost three minutes in. So let's get started, guys. Here we go. We're going from the newest set, Toon Chaos, to the oldest first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. As you guys can see, you can't even see all the packs because there are so many packs. 237, I believe. So we're the, there's only about 20 off screen. So we're going to start with these. Toon Chaos, here we go. First edition, the beginning of every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been hyping it up for a couple months now, so hopefully we can do good here. All right, here we go. Fire Dragon. Ooh, a Chaos Daedalus. So we did get an Ultra Rare. Pot of Desires, that's a good, good hit. I'm going to be sleeving up decent hits, and we will go over them at the end and see what we do here. So here we go. This is the newest tournament pack. OTS 13. I actually entered into a local tournament. I've never entered into a tournament before and I forfeited just to get this pack. So that's how dedicated I was to getting these packs. So here we go. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare out of one pack. All right, here we go. We're going to Synchron and a Scrap Golem. I think that's not a bad super rare actually. So that is not bad. That's a good start. Whew, okay, we're two packs down. We got about 235 to go. Sit back guys, relax. I'm going to be releasing this on a Saturday, so hopefully you guys have time to watch it. And if you could, guys, share the video, it would be great. I would really appreciate it. Oh, ho, ho! Grave Digger's Trap Hole. That's incredible because I've had horrible luck with this set. So we got a secret rare. I've only pulled like two out of 60 packs at the point of recording this. So that is incredible. Grave Digger's Trap Hole. Let's go. This is a good start. This is a very good start. Okay, Parallel XC. There's our favorite coming. Next pack, Secret Slayers, I believe. Did this come out in 2020 or 2019? Here we go. A Mirror Sandman, Rose Lover, Rock Bombardment, Adamantspader Raptite, and Conquistador of the Golden Land. I'm pretty sure that is not a good one. That's okay, Secret Rare. Next, we got Dual Overload. By the way, guys, this is going to be a nightmare to edit, so I'm just going to let you guys know. <laughs> it's going to be so long. Dual Overload. We opened 576 packs on the channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. Ooh, the Flame Swordsman. That's a cool one. Celestial. 
Bujin, that's actually a shorter printed one, a really short one. Al Mirage is good. So those are three nice cards. I'm going to set those in the pile. The Bujin one, I believe, was one of the lowest in terms of being short printed. Like, you hardly pull it. All right. Ignition Assault. If we pull a Starlight in this video, like, it's already going to be crazy. But Starlight is going to make it more insane. Yeah, and we went out to, I think, 10 Walmarts and Targets today just to get those unlimited packs because I was not about to delay this again. Here we go. Megalith. Okay, Bethor. I put these packs in the best order I could. I went through on the wiki and went in order of what they had on there. So, and then there are some kind of oddballs like Metal Raiders promotional pack. We're going to open that too, but I just stuck it with Metal Raiders. So we'll see if that works. Let's see if we can pull something epic out of movie pack. Chaos form. It's not a bad pull. There are actually three different printings. There's, there's secret rare version, gold rare version, and the original version. We have all three in this opening. So there's our first movie pack opening. Secret rare. Pretty cool. Here we go. Legendary Duelist. A lot of you guys love this set. You guys have been asking me to open some. I did get a few blisters of it, so we'll be opening that as well. Here we go. Jet Synchron. Alchemy. Or Alchemist. All right. Here we go. OTS 12. This is where you can pull the ultimate rare Solemn Judgment. Make sure you guys check out my video where I opened up 67 packs of this set. It'll be up in the eye up there. Here we go. Gigantus. That's a good common. Missed. And Jack Jaguar is a good card too. Uh, yeah, since we opened so much of it, I kind of recognize the best commons, etc. Okay. The hype is only... This, this is why some people wanted me to start with the best packs. But to me, there was like, there's no way I'm going to do that because the hype is building. Like, we're opening the newer sets, so it's like, okay, you know, they're, they're slightly exciting. And then we get to the big stuff at the end. Time Machine! Okay, Speed Duel Ultra Rare. The, if you don't know, Speed Duel is not a guaranteed foil at all. So, there's Supers and Ultras. So, Ultras are the best you can get. So, that's a good pull. Starting off good. Mystic Fighters. Let's see if we can get some Dragon Maids. Let's see if we can pull something epic. All right, Lightning, Abla, Generator Boss of Ice, pretty cool looking card, very secrety, kind of hard to see honestly, and Chaos Impact, another chance at a Starlight, we have very few chances at Starlight, so we have about a 4 and 600 chance or something like that, so very small, oh, Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eye, Dun, dun, dun. All right, I, I kind of wish uh, while I was recording this, I had some hype, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh music. Because, like, I'll be playing it in the background for the video. But, like, right now, it's just, like, there's nothing. It's just me. It's just me opening packs. Every pack. All right, here we go. Half shot. Oh, wait. Oh, it comes with two. Speed Duel Tournament Pack. Come with two Super Rares. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm guessing Manny Bug might still be good in Speed Duels. No. Nope. Because it's Manny Bug and Destroy Monster. All right. Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny. Can we get the, what is it, Bane and, there's Bane and some other short printed, uh, short printed guy, so we'll probably recognize him. Dark Necrofear, Call of the Earthbound, Dark Sanctuary, okay. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Ooh, this is a very, very nice pack. 2019 Gold Sarcophagus, solid value in here, especially the tins because of the promos. The promos are really nice. So here we go. Recon, Scout for Hire, Scarlet Scourge, FA Dead Heat. Mr. Holder, point guard. Oh, the point guard. We got some basketball. Thunder Dragon Hawk. I think this is not a maybe like a dollar or something like that. Noble Knight. So that's not a terrible pull. There's another for higher card. Gladiator. There's our Gladiator Beast for our Gladiator Beast guy. Thunder Dragon Hawk. Nice pull. Fist of the Gadgets. Here we go. Actually, when we were, uh, yeah, when we were out at the WalMarts, we were opening some extra packs that we got. And we pulled the panda out of here, and it was like $10, and I had no idea. Starting Venom Fusion Dragon, nice. Arch Fiend's Ascent, okay, check that out. That is sweet artwork. That is, I'm sleeping that up just for that. I, it's probably not worth anything, because that set is very cheap overall, Fist of the Gadgets. Next pack, OTS Tournament Pack 11. What is in here? I can't really remember what's in here, so let's just pull an ultimate, and then we'll know. We'll know one of the ultimates, at least. Error Pack, three ultimates. Here we go. All right, come on. All out attacks. Orcus Nightmare. It's not a bad card. Sleeve it up. The OTS packs usually have some solid value because they're reprints of good cards. It just makes sense. Okay. More Speed Duel. Scars of Battle. J 
Joey. Let's see what we can do here. Break Dawn. Gatekeeper. Vampire Lord. We're having some really good luck out of the speed duels. We're pulling some really good stuff. They have a weird feeling. They feel kind of like... I don't even know what the word is, but they feel different than regular non-speed uh, duel cards. Alright, our last ch chance at a prismatic in the entire video. So, let's see what we can do. Can we pull the Opelosa? That would be nuts. Because that's like a $1,000 card, prismatic. Some more. White Aura Monoceros. Sword Sting. Birds of Calamity. Whew, okay. We're getting close. We're almost off the packs to the packs on screen because there are so many packs. Ooh, we got a good chance at pulling the Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos here. So let's see if we can do it. I've never pulled that guy. I really want to get a lot of packs and try and pull him. Ooh, Cyberstein. Epic. I didn't know that was in here. That's really cool. Magic Stone and Guardian Border. I gotta remember that they love to put the secret at the front, which I never understand. That is a really cool card. Too bad we can't pull the Shonen, <laughs> Shonen Jump version out of there. All right, Speed Duel. Attack from the Deep. Let's do this. Uh, what is in here? I don't think much. I think this was one of the worst Speed Duel sets, and Speed Duel isn't that, isn't that valuable anyway, so. Robin Zombie. Okay, we got nothing out of there. Yeah, see, as I said, we were doing good out of Speed Duel because you start out with, or you can get all comments in the packs. Oh, this is Dark Storm, by the way. So you can get all, all comments, which is obviously bad. And then we got two Ultras in the first couple. Here we go. XYZ Slud Dolphin. Lo Loge's Flame. I don't know. World Chalice. Sentinel. Speed Lift. Whew, okay. Here we go. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. This actually has very valuable cards like Blue Eyes. Uh, I think Dark Magician Girl. Uh, Dark Magician. Stuff like that. Here we go. Tune Table of Contents. Okay. Tune Table of Contents is a good one. Is a really good one. So that's nice. That's a nice pull. The Tune Table of Contents. Very nice. All right, OT OTS Tournament Pack 10. I don't remember what's in this one either. Can't just, I can't remember. We got Breaker, Dragon's Mirror, and Breaker, the Dark Magical Warrior. This guy is not too expensive. I guess I'll have prices popping up. It depends on how hard I go in the editing. If I have prices for everything, I'm probably gonna, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have Carpal Tunnel or something by the end, but it would be epic, so I'll probably do it. Okay, here we go. Dual Power. Here we go. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Link Kribo, nice pull. Necros of Trishula, okay. Very nice. And another Necro. Oh, wait, wow, lots of Necros. That's a good pack. That's a good pack. I'm gonna set those. I'm gonna set those together. I'm gonna sleeve all these up into one because I don't wanna take forever. Okay. Speed Duel Arena of Lost Souls, the first ever Speed Duel set. Can we pull Sphere Kribo? I've pulled a lot of Sphere Kribo. I think I've pulled like four or five. All right, here we go. Snake Air, Mill of Darkness, Amazon Spy, and The Shallow Grave. Okay, here we go. These are the last few packs we have before we get to over here, and we got all these packs. All right, the Infinity Chasers. Hope you guys are enjoying the video, and make sure to check out my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links down below. If you guys buy any sort of cards or anything, it supports me, and check out Patreon if you're interested, because... It's epic when you guys support me. I really, really appreciate it. Here we go. Spellbook of Knowledge. Nice. Evil Eye of Selene. Awesome. Awesome. Soul of Knowledge. Very warped. But uh, not a bad card. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go in order here. I might have I just gotten out of order. But forgive me if I did. We're still opening every pack. Okay. This is Savage Strike. Actually a pretty expensive pack already. And it's pretty new. Prank Kids. Next. Next, I should say. Wow. Summon. Okay, yeah. Nothing great there. All right, Legendary Duelist. We had another Legendary Duelist set. The Sisters of the Rose. This was, what is it? The fourth, I think, Legendary Duelist set after, I think, Kaiba's next. Or Kaiba's before this. Joey's first, then Pegasus, Kaiba, then this one. Here we go. Luna Light Serenade Dance. Okay. Yeah, once we get to that Kaiba pack, there's pretty pricey cards in there. There's extremely pricey cards in the... In the uh, Pegasus one. Ancient Millennium. Okay. OTS 9. This is where you can get Elemental Hero Stratos, which is a big time card. Whew, here we go. Imperial Order. Fusion Substitute. And Galaxy Expedition. Check that. Check that artwork out. Pretty cool. All right. So we're still waiting for a big hit. We're still waiting for a big hit. We're still on the, I mean, we're still on the new pack. So we, we would rather hit him in the big pack, in the old packs. Okay, Hidden Summoners. I don't even know what's in here. 
Oh, this guy, I remember him. Fusion Recycling Plant, fulfillment of the contract. Okay, how do you say that guy's name? Shukagumo, the poisonous Mayakishi. They're really trying to tongue twist you there. Okay, we're on to the packs. Okay, these are kind of on screen. Sofu, I'm gonna pull some Thunder Dragons in here. I think the big one is banned. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's banned. All right, here we go. So many great Foxy. Extra Foolish Burial. I don't think I've ever seen that card. There's a Dragon Matrix. Pred a plant. All right, Extra Foolish Burial. I've seen regular Foolish Burial. We got an Extra Foolish. You don't want to be Extra Foolish, guys. All right, here we go. White Dragon Abyss. We can pull the Bingo Machine Go. Some big Blue Eyes cards. I think Blue Eyes Chaos Dragons in here. Pretty expensive, like 35, 40 bucks. Chaos Form. Here we go. Dragon Shrine and Blackbird Close. All right, nothing out of that one. Here we go. This one will have a pull in it. Mega 10 2018. It's going to guarantee that we pull something good. Or at least rarity wise, we'll pull something good. Here we go. Oh, cool. Ha Revive. Or we got a uh, Hades on there. Who's that? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Am I a spy? Sign it refresh. Ib the World Chalice Priestess. Fuse Line. I don't know about that card. Ultra Guys Meliseek. I think that. Wait. Ultra Guys just got uh, one of their cards unbanned, didn't they? Or was it Meliseek? Was that the one that got unbanned? I think it might have been Meliseek. So that's probably worth a little bit more than it was before. Pretty epic. I'll, I'll sleeve up this sleeve up this fuse line because it's a secret rare. All right. Whew. Let's do this, guys. We got a long way to go. Hope you're enjoying it. OTS Tournament Pack 8. Scapegoats Ultimate Rare. I think that might be one of the worst ultimate rares in the set, at least when I originally opened some of these. But it's gone up quite a bit. Here we go. Twin Triangle Dragon. Our favorite card, the Twin Triangle Dragon. I still don't understand why it has triangles on its arms, but yeah. Shadows and Valhalla. We got the Valkyries in here. There's a big card in here. What is it? I think it's the super rare one. It's the... It's that super rare. It's, oh, Cyberdark Impact. That's pretty cool. Yellow Ninja. Elements of Euro Neos. Hidden Village of Ninjutsu Arts. Pretty cool. Cyberdark Impact's a pretty awesome secret rare out of Tactical Evolution. It's so weird that they have the set names. Okay, here's our first non-first ed. Yeah, this guy ruined it. But yeah, maybe we'll pull something epic out of it. At least we have a pack for it. We, we, we went a lot of places for this pack. Here we go. Dragoonity Knight. Nice. We got an ultra rare. Ascalon. Ascalon. Pretty epic. Cybernetic Horizon. Okay. Here we go. Battles of Legend. Relentless Lavenge. <laughs> Lavenge. I can't remember what's great in here. Oh, Dragonic Diagram used to be really good. I'm not sure what it is now, but it used to be very expensive when it was in um, the, its original set, whichever. I don't remember what it was. So that's a good pull. Foolish Burial Goods. That's not a bad card either. Born from Draconis. Okay, so that was a good pack. A very good pack. I'm not sure if Dragonic Diagram got banned or if it got phased out. I don't know if people still use it. I'm really not sure. Okay. Dark Saviors. This is a pretty expensive pack too, I think. Here we go. Sky Striker, Airspace, Arena Zero. Okay. Bravo. Seal. Sky Striker, Mecha Shark Cannon. I don't think this is the one they use. Sky Striker's got... Um, they got a little better recently, I think. I'm not totally in tune with the meta, if you can't tell, but I'm doing my best. Okay, Flames of Destruction. If we pull an infinite impermanence, that could be epic. That could be really epic. Let's see what we can do. I've never pulled an imperm out of an original set, out of its original set. Space Insulator. Link Bound, okay. I'm not sure what Link Bound. Link Bound sounds like it used to be decent, but I could just be making stuff up. I don't know much about that card. I didn't open a lot of Flames of Destruction. OTS 7. Okay, here's where we... This is one considered one of the worst OTS packs. But there's actually some decent commons in it. I think Link Spider's not too bad. It's pretty decent. Here we go. Token Festival. What is and this? Spiral Tough. I get this guy all the time. And it looks like a cutout. Like, he's just popping out of the card. It's really interesting. Oh, Star Pack Brains. One of the big... I know you guys really want Star Pack Brains. And by the way, make sure you guys like the video and leave the comment below if you want to win that Raging Battle 10. Or should I say Power Tool Dragon 10, the actual name. Cracking Dragon, here we go. That's pretty cool looking. There's only three cards in there. 
Okay, that actually looks nice. I mean, I they kind of look a little cheap, but I do kind of like them. I kind of like how they look. Whew, Mega Pack. Legendary Collection Kaiba. We can get Ash Blossom in here. There's a bunch of other good stuff, but I, but I know Ash Blossom is one of the big cards. So here we go. Ooh, White Stone of Legend. You get four secrets in this pack, I think. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Can we pull another one of these in Retro Pack 2? Please. Please. Okay. So that's a cool that's a cool pull. Oh, this is a cool card. I would love to pull that out of TP2 as well. That's actually a good chance because it's just a rare. Ring of Destruction. Nice card. Double Summon. Okay. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Delinquent Duo. Okay, that was a pack. I might just have to set this whole pack aside. That was amazing. So we got Delinquent Duo. That has good value. It still can be used in Go format. Then we got, of course, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. That's a good pull. Double Summon. Always going to be worth something when people are using it in the meta. We got a Blue Eyes Shining Drag. I mean, this Secret Rare looks really good on this card. So that is awesome. Um, I think Wine Stone of Legend isn't too bad either. The Melody of Awakening Dragon, I think, might be a few bucks as well. So that was that was one heck of a pack right there. Okay, so that was a real that was a really nice pack. Ooh, let's follow it up with another huge pack with a lot of very expensive cards. What is the uh, Thousand Eyes guy called? The Thousand Eyes something. I can't remember. Maybe we'll pull him. Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. Arm Dragon Level 5. Oh! I saw the fusion and thought we had it. We got a Megaton Gold. Megaton Golem. Crowler. All right, that's a good pull. Extreme Force. There's not a lot of value in here anymore because the cards got reprinted. They got banned, etc. But we can still pull the... I still remember when I pulled... Um, What was the guy called? I can't remember. There's two huge secrets in here. And I pulled the the one that... There was... Oh, I can't remember. I forgot what the name is, but I pulled that epic card, and it was like, oh, is that for Metaltron? It was like 60, 70 bucks. No, I pulled I pulled both of them. I opened a booster box of this set, and I pulled the one that was worth less, and then I pulled the biggest one when I went to buy. I just went for the Lost Art promo, and I bought a few packs, and then I pulled the $80 card, which is crazy. And then they both got, they both went way down, so. OTS6. I can't remember what it's called for some reason. I cannot, I can't think of it. All right, well, continuing on. OTS 6, here we go. Amazon is queen. And Paleozoic Eldonia. Pretty cool. We are 23 minutes in, but that's, I'm probably going to cut out a few minutes for the stuff, but still, we got a long way to go. All right, Spirit Warriors. I think we'll make it under two hours, though. I'm not rushing or anything, but I also don't want to take it that long, because, you know, I know you guys, you don't, you don't have all day to watch a video, but appreciate you guys that do watch it. The Weather Painter Rain, Musketeer Kid Brave, Secret Six Samurai Hitatsume is actually a good one. That is a good one, I think. I believe, I believe. That's a nice, that's a nice pull. Circuit Break, this has the Borolo, what is it, Borolo, not Savage, but it's the, uh, the original one. Um, and it used to be like 50, 60 bucks. I pulled this one too, I have a special edition. Nimble Beaver, Alter Guys, Suquitos, Grey Storiato, and Metis Factor. All right, we're getting close. We're, we're about to get into some epic packs. I have Ghost Rare Chances, Ultimate Rare Chances. Ooh, here we can pull the Red Eyes Baby Dragon. We can pull a lot of epic cards. Here we go. Oh, man, we just lost a lot of stuff. All right, so get on. Amazon is Archer, Legendary Fisherman, Ryoku, and Megaroid City. So we didn't get exactly what we want there. Okay, packs are going everywhere. The empty packs. All right, 2017 Mega Pack. I think there's some pretty good, pretty good cards in here, even though it's an older one. And a reprint. Okay. Dice Clops. Dwarf Star Dragon Planter. That card's in uh, Tomb Chaos. Empowerment. Metafoles Combination. Magical Navigation. Tiger Mortar is not terrible. Magician's Navigation is, is really nice. That's a nice pull out of here. That's a good value card. Let's set that in our pile. Tiger Mortar is maybe, maybe around a dollar. I can never remember if this guy's good or not. He, I think he used to be. Oh, I think I said that last time, and then it wasn't. So maybe that's the case. It's not worth much. Okay, OTS5. Only a three-card pack, because it is a tournament pack. Here we go. Ten Goldfish. Fairy Tale Snow. By the way, guys, I wanted to thank everyone who helped me out get getting all of these packs. It took forever, 
And a lot of you guys hooked me up with either good deals. You found a pack that I wasn't going to be able to find. Code of the Duelist. Here we go. Firewall Dragon. Not a lot of value in here either. But yeah, you guys really hooked me up. And I appreciate all you guys. And I I will ho hopefully have some sort of shout out for you guys. But it's, it's like there's just... This has been going on for so long. It took me like two months. So I'll try to shout out if I remember, you know, you got me a, a specific pack. Then I'll try and tell you guys. All right. Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge. The original Battles of Legend. Let's see if we can pull something epic. Here we go. Oh, come on. Focus. There we go. Gladiator Beast. Super Heavy Samurai. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Okay, that's a really cool card. That's a really cool card. Comes in at Cross Souls originally. It looks really, really epic. I love that card. So that's a good pull. Here we go. We got one of the best sets ever. Pendulum Evolution. I think the most expensive card is a super rare that's worth $3 or something like that. Star Pendulum Graph. Purple Poison Magician. Dharma Eye Magician. Crimson Knight. And Time Gazer Magician. Okay. I know you guys were excited for that one. That was why you waited for the 10K opening. It was for Pendulum Evolution. Maximum Crisis. This has the original printing of Ash Blossom, which is actually still really expensive. It went down to like 30, but then it, it rebounded and came back up. Oh! Unending Nightmare. This is actually one of the good ones in the set, I think. Unending Nightmare. There we go. That's a good secret rare. Okay. Our pulls have been pretty good, honestly, so far. Unending Nightmare Secret Rare. That's really good. I mean, it's not Ash Blossom, but it's pretty good. Guys, this is one of the this is one of the packs. This is one of the hardest packs for me to find in the out of everything. More than LOB first edition. This pack is nowhere because it has the max C potential. One guy, he wanted to remain anonymous, hooked me up with this one and Astral Pack 4, which are also insane. No, Max C's in Astral Pack 4. This one is. What is in here? Something incredible is in here. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, he hooked me up with both of them. He didn't even he didn't even charge me. So that's what I'm saying about I paid 3700 but it could have been a lot more because he hooked me up with this pack. And it's going to hurt to open it, honestly, because it took me a month to find this pack. So maybe we'll pull the big card. I can't even remember what it is for some reason. Mac, a Max C is Astral Pack 4, though. There's only three, pack, three cards in here, so let's see if we can pull something epic. OTS Pack 4. Here we go. Photon Thrasher. Oh, all that heartache for Super Rare. But it's okay. We needed it. So thanks again. You know who you are for hooking me up with that. That was very helpful. Okay. Dual Saga. First edition. Lots of value in here. Nothing crazy expensive. I've never pulled the blue eyes out of here. I've opened over two boxes, like the big boxes with the mini boxes in them. I've opened two, over two of those and never pulled one. Dark Lord Descent. Elements of your Honest Neos and Vion. That's a good, good pack. The Honest Neos used to be the number one card when I first opened it. It was like $9 or something. It's still, I think, $9 is the highest card. It's not this card, though. I think this card's only like 3 or $4 now. I can't remember what the most... I think Blue Eyes might be the most expensive now. Okay, Battle Royale, Star Pack. It starts off with your star at the very beginning. I don't like it. Then you just get two commons. So we got that guy, comma one. All right. Fusion Enforcers, one of the other ones that I totally skipped over and forgot. So we got an unlimited version. So hope you guys don't mind. Fright for Tiger, cool. Miracle Fertilizer. Polymer is eight. That's a really cool card. Let's set that aside. And then a Fright for Tiger. The Fright for cards are interesting. Some of them are worth something, so that might be a decent card. Fusion Enforcers isn't overall a very valuable set, so I'm doubting it's very valuable just because it's in Fusion Enforcers. Raging Tempest, first edition. I think this one came back a little bit. It wasn't very valuable. And then it kind of had a, I think, yeah, Zodiacs, that's why, because Zodiacs kind of came back. Miscellanosaurus, I've never seen that card. Lost Wind, Sea Monster Thesis, or Theseus, or whatever. That is a secret rare. I've pulled this guy a few times, too. Pretty cool. I mean, that's a really cool card. Very basic, like, look at that description. Two tuners, that's it. That's got to be one of the shortest descriptions in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I think it might, it might be. I don't really know. I and mean, there's probably one with like two letters or something, but that's pretty crazy. Here, oh, movie pack gold edition. I actually love the gold ones. A lot of people don't like gold, but I like it on the movie pack. I remember buying a binder from a guy. He had a bunch. He had bought a bunch of this, and I really just started to like it. There's a Dark Magician. Nice. Dimension Sphinx. And a Marsh Macron. Macaron. <laughs> Macaron. 
Not a very good pack, but we did get a Dark Magician. That's pretty nice. Okay. OTS 3. We're getting down to the end of the... At the beginning of the OTS. Pretty crazy. Oh, okay. So they're starting to put it in the front. So the next two times, we're going to have to not do that. Uni Zombie. He tries. Hit tries you went up for like a like randomly like a year ago. I remember it like as a common. It was interesting. Domain of the True Monarchs was our pool. Destiny Soldiers. I one of the first boxes I ever bought in 2018 was a Destiny Soldiers booster box for 40 bucks, and because it, it was so cheap, so I bought it. Malicious, nice hit over Destiny. Dark Lord Morningstar. I can't ever remember if Morningstar is one of the pricey ones or not. By pricey, I mean like five bucks. But yeah. Malicious is a good hit, and Secret Rare. Some of the Dark Lords are good, some are not. There we go. I think we're doing overall, we haven't hit anything huge, but we have hit some very solid pulls. So, All right, let's keep that LOB. Okay, back there. All right, Invasion Vengeance. I haven't opened too much of this, other than when I was buying mystery boxes a lot in 2018. Not on YouTube. I was just doing it for fun. Okay, Predaplant, Dino Seawig, Super Every Samurai, King Synchro, Great Combat. Okay. All right. Duelist pack. Rivals of the Pharaoh. What can we pull here? Something epic, hopefully. Come on. Silence Wars 1 level 3. Dark Necrofear. Destiny Board. And Castle of Dragon Souls. So nothing out of that one. Oh, we got a thick pack. Mega Pack 2016. Here we go. Mega Packs are always fun because you get those secret rares. You get those ultra rares every time. It's pretty fun to see what you get. Is that a Lapras? That looks like a Lapras. That is, that is, there's your Pokemon for the day. Oh, Pot of Forbidden. That's a good card. I know that from our favorite set, Dimension Chaos. Alumrage. Side effects. Twin Twisters. Okay. Galaxy Cyclone. That's not a bad card. Ignite Reload. All right. That's actually pretty good. Oh, there's our, there's our uh, Bow Hopper. Gotta love that guy. Okay. So definitely a good pack with Twin Twisters. Not worth as much as it used to be, I don't think, but still pretty good. Galaxy Cyclone, maybe a couple dollars is not too bad. This was a pretty strong card in Duel Links for a while. I'm not sure if it's still used or not, but a pretty good card. I'm not sure. I think Ignites might be okay, so I'm going to definitely check that, out, check that out, see if it's okay. Put it in the, oh, the maybe pile. That's what I have over there. Okay. Dragons of Legend Unleashed. We're starting to get into some semi-old big value sets. So here we go. Let's see what we can pull here. Fang of Critics. Can we get the Dark Magician Girl of the Dragon Knight? Tamias, Knight of Destiny. Number 59. Flower Cardian. Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. I think this is the most expensive card in the set. The last When I opened it a few months ago, this was the most expensive card in the set. It was like 15 bucks. So that's pretty awesome. Awesome pull out of one pack. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Dark Illusions. I, I gotta save my voice for hopefully when we pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon out of the first edition LOB pack. And then Yu-Gi-Oh! X is going to be very angry because he sold me that pack. <laughs> Alright, Red Gardener. Metafold's Gold Driver. Oh, Tomb Dark Magician! Epic! Because we got the tunes. I mean, anytime you pull a tune now, it's just hype. And Dark Magician, that's a cool one. I mean, you don't see Tomb Dark Magician as much. You've seen, you know, Tomb Blue Eyes, see Tomb Dark Magician Girl, you know, all that stuff you've seen more often. Okay, OTS2. This one, remember the foil is at the front, so we gotta we gotta be finessing it around here. Hopefully we can get. Hopefully it's an ultimate at the front. Let's see what we can do. Put that around. Do the card trick. Let's go. Melody of Awakening Dragon. Prediction Princess Kanorma. And the Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves. If we pull any sort of big card out of any tournament pack, it's gonna be a win. Just even one of them. If we pull an ultimate rare or anything like that. Oh, here we go. This is the Obelisk, the Tormentor. There's only an Obelisk in here. So I tried, I'm, I'm serious, guys. I tried to get every single pack that I could. Here we go. This is a really nice looking card. The Secret Rare Gold Obelisk, the Tormentor. I really like it. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, so I tried to get anything that had, wasn't a clear like wrapping. Like if it was like cards wrapped in clear wrapping, like in game promos and stuff, I didn't count that as a pack. I counted it as a booster pack if it was like opaque, you couldn't see through it then that counted as a booster pack. And I probably missed some, to be honest, but I did my best to get every single pack. And we're going to open some epic ones. Oh, this one's starting off hot. Here's the last of the regular movie pack. We got a Chaos Max Dragon already. This was the original printing, and I just stuck the obelisk with it because I wasn't sure when the movie like promo came out or whatever, but I probably should have looked when the movie was released, but I didn't. Okay, Chaos Max, nice. 
Induced Explosion. Slifer the Sky Dragon. And a Lemon Magician Girl. Slifer is not very expensive because of how many times they've reprinted it. And this is just the regular Ultra version. So it's not as popular, you know, as the Secret version. And then Chaos Max. Because for whatever reason, they decided to make them all first edition. Even though they were coming out like two years later. It made no sense. So here we go. Dimensional, or Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. One of the worst Duelist Packs ever made. But we're opening it because we're opening every pack. Here we go. Dark Resonator. Chain Resonator. Red Warp, and Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. That'll bring you back to the Duel Links days if you guys played. <laughs> You've seen that one a few times. Shining Victories. Let's get something epic. Pretty cool set that I have not opened much of at all. So maybe we'll get something cool. Lunalight Tiger. Digital Bug. Fusion Tag. Pre-preparation pre of rights. And the, the Carraway Champion. This? this guy's cool. Cool for the plants. Super rare. Uh, I can't... Mm, I think super is a guarantee. Not sure in that one. Millennium Pack. I have... Have I ever opened the Millennium Pack? Maybe like one. Oh, check this card out. Thousand Dragon. Okay, that's a cool rare. Ring of Destruction. Nice. Launcher Spider Alternate Art. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Nightmare Wheel. And Black Metal Dragon. So that's a cool... I'm sleeping that up. <laughs> it's probably worth 20 cents. But I mean, that's a cool card. Alright, we're in the last... Or the first, I should say. OTS pack. A chance at Elemental Hero. Wait, I was about to say Stratos. I meant to say Dark Law. That's what I was trying to say. There we go. And we gotta flip it around because it could be at the front. So here we go. Let's see if we can get one. Cyber Dragon Nova. Summoning Curse. Imperial Iron Wall. That is not a bad card. Well, we, we not focused there. There we go. Not a bad card there. Our first gold. Well, not our first gold. We had movie pack gold. But our non-movie non pack. We have got a gold pack. Premium gold. Infinite gold. So many golds. They just say gold like 50 times. Black Horn of Heaven. Mass change. Oh, Mass change 2. Okay. Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. And Dante, Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. I'm not sure if any of those are worth anything. I really don't know about infinite gold. I don't think it's too great. Wing Raiders. Uh, it, it's very gold. It's very tough to read everything. So I, I don't know if I love it or not, but it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Wing Raiders. I don't know if I've ever opened a Wing Raiders, but I probably have at some point, but Suit or number 101 Silent Honor Arc. Bujan Amaterasu. Amaterasu. I never know how to say that, but I didn't know that was a comment in there. Okay, this is always nice to get a number card. Number cards are very popular. By the way, our stack of pulls is insanely high. Here we got a Breakers of Shadow. This is what I think Solemn. What is it? Solemn Strike. Is that its original? I think it's Solemn Strike. It's his original printing in here. Trump Girl. Guiding Ariane. Okay. I think this is when it started doing guaranteed foils. I think that's when it started was Riggers of Shadow. All right, here we go. Our favorite pack, Dimension of Chaos, first edition. Scarlight, Red Dragon, Archfiend. We've already pulled so many of them. Make sure you guys should go check out those videos. We'll have some epic pulls up in the eye. Here we go. Plush Fire. Magic Spectre, Crow Yada. Despot Jet. Pendulum Area. Contract Change. Riddle Cobra and Samurai Thief. Yeah, I definitely have used my luck on uh, Dimension of Chaos. All right, we're into Astro Packs. I've never opened Astro Pack 8, I don't think. I say that, but it gets confusing. Oh, I forgot. It's at the front. Forgot. It's going to be like that from now on. Spiritual Beast, Rep Pegnu. Swift Guy the Fierce Knight, cool card. And UA Stadium. So only three cards in those tournament packs. It's pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Hope you guys are enjoying this long video. We do have a long way to go. But the epicness is only beginning, so here we go. High speed riders. Let's pull something insane. Red Cocoon. Speedroid Double Yo Yo. Silent Psychic Wizard. Psy Frame Driver. And Speed Recovery. So that's cool. Not, not guaranteed anymore. We're back out of that era. We're into a non guaranteed era. We're on 2015. Yep, yeah, here we go. As I said, that Mega Pack 2015. Kind of keeping us in where we are within years. I have no idea what's in here. That's in 2015. Here we go. Lynn Bloom. Artifact Aegis. Part Naga. Fluffle Bear. Fright Fur Bear. Sinister Shadow Games. Oh. Infernoid Onuka. This guy is in um this guy is in Secrets of Eternity because I pulled it. Number 30 39 Utopia Beyond is cool. I pulled this in Secrets of Eternity when we were trying to pull that ghost right. This was a long time ago. 
and I opened a bunch of boxes, so he's not too valuable, but I definitely like how he looks. Number 39, that's cool. Not sure how this, how good the Shadow Games card is, but we're going to set it over here anyway. Clash of Rebellion. Ooh, you know what would be epic? To pull the Ghost Rare. Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon, whatever the name is. Something like that. Metal, fl no, Flare Metal Dragon. That's what it's called, I think. We'll, we'll know when I pull it right here. Extra buck. Oh, man. That would have been epic to call it. Whew, okay. Dragons of Legend 2. We're getting close. When we get to that Dragons of Legend pack, that's going to be huge. In here, there is the Toon Kingdom, which is extremely expensive now. So pulling that would be epic. So hopefully we can do that. Toon Briefcase. Aqua Lighting. Double Magical Arm Bind. Toon Mask. Okay. The tunes continue. I'll take it. A tune is a tune. Yet one is a lot more expensive than the other, but still not bad. All right, Duelist Pack, Battle City, a lot of epic cards in here. I think you can pull the Arcanist Dark Magician, which is my YouTube avatar, so hopefully we can pull that. Oh, wait, no, I already ruined it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. What? What, is what kind of order is this? Rare, Multiple Destruction, Ultra Rare. Time, Wizard. Okay, well, we pulled something. The, the problem with opening this many different packs, you have no idea where the foils are going to be. It's crazy, so Ultra Rare, I'll take it. All right, Star Pack. Mark V. Let's do this. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you guys, what you guys are thinking about the video. How do you feel about every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, I'm hyped. And I'm hyped to get to that LOB pack. I mean, I'm pretty excited. What? Oh, okay. Okay. It's got the uh, crazy foil you can barely see on there. And then the regular common. Okay. That's really strange. All right. What's next? Astral Pack 7. We've opened a few of these guys and pulled some Ultimate Rares. So make sure you guys go back and check out my Tournament Pack openings. Pretty epic. Alright, Astral Pack 7. Flip it around. Can we pull an Ultimate Rare? Here we go. Light and Pristing Mirror. Storm. Ooh, Skarm. I've pulled this one a few times, but it's it's valuable. It's four or five bucks. Very good pull. Very good pull. Cross Souls. The Clear Wing Synchro is an epic card. In Ghost Rare especially. Yeah, that'd be crazy to pull that. And I would love to. Also, you can pull the Ghost Ogre. We already pulled Ghost Ogre once in this video and out of this out of one of these packs. So let's see if we can do it again. Void Purification. Super Heavy Samurai Battle Ball. Okay. It wasn't the Ghost Ogre. Still pretty good. Nice pull. World Superstars. I don't know if I've opened much World Superstars. Oh, look at this card. Oh my goodness! What? What? Legendary Dragon of White? Okay, I've seen this like once, but I didn't know it came in this set. Okay, this has to be worth something. Look at that card. Okay, first of all, I love this foil, the prismatic they have on here. And this Legendary Dragon of White. That is a sweet pull. That's one of our coolest pulls so far, so I'm excited about that. I was not expecting that out of World Superstars. I didn't even realize that was in there. Premium Gold, Return of the Bling. Let's return to the bling. Bling has been returned to. Okay, here we go. Junk Giant. Absolute King Blackjack. Crush Card Virus. Right Arm of the Forbidden. Foolish Burial. Look at this pack. That is an epic pack. Okay, Crush Card Virus. I don't think it's too valuable in this set. But out of the 2008 gold version, it is, it's super hard to pull. It's like 1 in 10 boxes. So that would be crazy to pull. Right arm of the Forbidden One. You can't complain about an Exodia piece. It doesn't matter what set it's from, what rarity it is. It's a nice pull. And then a Foolish Burial. That was a that was a heck of a pack right there. All right. The Secret Forces have barely opened any of this. I opened some today with my wife while we were looking for the, the packs that we're missing. Abyss Dweller. That's a pretty good card. Armageddon Knight. Dijin. Ritual Beast Ulti Apelio. Ritual Beasts have been pretty hot. I don't know about this one specifically, but first edition secret rare, I have a good feeling about it. So we're going to check it out. Abyss Dweller. That's a nice card. It's been reprinted a few times, so probably not too great of value. Here it is. Secrets of Eternity. We have we've opened a lot of Secrets of Eternity. Not a great set. Not at all. One of the worst ever, I think. But you can pull ultimates and ghosts. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, nothing. Soul Strike. Toy Knight. Oh, that's a cool card. Little Lego guy. That's pretty cool. All right, Astral Pack 6. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Oh, we don't want to ruin it, which I probably just did. 
may or may not edit it out. We'll see. We'll see what, what if I if I edit it out, then I'm you know actually dedicated to editing. If not, then you guys need to roast me in the comments for being a slacker. Wow. So here we go. Man eater, man eating black shark, Chino Fortress, and Infernity Break. That black shark guy is creepy. It seems like a really early common that they like just made into a random common. They like reprinted it finally in English like 20 years later. That's what that seems like. Okay. What is this? New challengers? Okay. Fluffle bear. I mean, that's a cute little bear. He has wings. That's interesting. Satellite. Fright for a wolf. Fluffle Leo. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh, we got a Mega Pack Legendary Collection 5Ds. This is one you don't see too often, but I figure they'll reprint it at some point, but so far, pretty rare. Okay, we should get some sort of secret in here. Hedge Guard. I don't know about that card. Formula Synchron. That's actually a... I think that's a really good card. 100 Eyes Dragon. I think that's a really good card, actually. That's a good pull. A first edition Legendary Click Collection 5D Secret Rare Formula Synchron. Probably one of our better pulls so far. And then Hedge Guard, I'm not sure if that's worth anything or not. We'll put in the maybe. All right, and another Mega Pack, 2014. I know there's some good value in here. I can't remember exactly what it is. I think the uh, the guy from Shadow Spectres, the cover card, I think he's in here. That, like, Night Guy, Yukiona, Mind Drain, Ponpoco, Madolce, Chicolate, Chica Chicolate, Chicolate, Chica Chicolate. I, I love this card. I'm so glad we pulled it. Mega Phantom Beast, Arasugan, Pot of Dichotomy. That's a cool secret. Another Mega Phantom Beast. I don't think either of those are too great, but we'll put them in the maybe pile. Oh no, here it comes. The next, the pack after this is the, the, the classic. All right, this is Duelist Alliance, Duelist Alliance. Here we go, if you guys wanted to see the artwork, there it is. Chaos Seed, here we go. Formal Pal, Swordfish, Battle Man, okay. Graph, Battle Guard, UA Stadium. All right, so I've never pulled, I don't think I've ever pulled a hollow out of Duelist Alliance. Here it is, Battle Pack 3 Monster League. This has got to be the worst set ever in terms of like value. I know it was made, it was made to, it's all sticky. Oh, I remember this. I stuck it over there so it would not stick to all the packs, but they're always stuck together in like the mystery boxes and stuff and you can't ever, yeah, it's, it's just bad. And then all the cards are super cheap. It was made to deck duel with people like you know you open it and you duel instantly so it makes sense shredder is this ninja turtles what's going on here frontier wiseman okay so nothing too crazy in there astral pack five no idea what's in so, these middle astral packs i have not opened too many natural natural pa <laughs> astral packs okay here we go ultimate rare let's do this book of moon nice and full house okay Full house, just super rare. Primal Origin. Okay, we are way into this video. We got a long way to go still, so I hope you're still enjoying it. Thank you guys for sticking with me on a long video. I know you guys have been excited about it, so I hope you are enjoying it. We got a lot of packs to go. We got the big packs coming up, so let's see if we can pull something big. Trap Tricks and Double Dragon Descent. Number 43. Oh, here's a big one. Dragons of Legend, first edition pack. Can we pull the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight? That is a very, very nice card and pretty expensive. So here we go. Secret Rare version is in here. The Ultra Rare version is in number three, I think, Unleashed. All right, here we go. Rock Sunrise. Final Fusion. Ooh. Ooh. It's a fusion. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Bam. Bam. We got one pack and we pulled it. That's the first big pull of the opening. Oh, my goodness. I think it's like a hundred dollars or something huge pull dark magician girl the dragon knight the fusion i didn't believe it i didn't believe it check that out first big pull and look at the eyeball the eyeball over here has got the the shine in it too that is absolutely epic first huge pull that's going in the huge pulls pile which is going over here Whew. there it is oh got a sports card fell down on here all right here we go. I had to grab some water after that. That was exciting. Okay. Premium gold. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. Oh! Ho, ho! Can't even get into the plug. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Then Dark Magician Girl, back to back. Obelisk, the Tormentor! Number C6, Morphing Jar, and Mind Control. What a pack. I think this card's pretty expensive, too. Like, 
I mean, I think it's like 30 plus dollars. Wow. Wow. Mint condition. Back to back Dark Magician Girls. That's going in the big Dark Magician Girl pool. Then we got Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh my goodness. Not crazy value on him, but I mean, a secret gold rare Obelisk the Tormentor god card. Unreal. We are hot. And then a nice morphing jar. That's always nice to pull. Wow. Okay. Couldn't even get through plugging to like the video. And of course, share the video, guys, because this, this one is already heating up. Star Pack 2014. Let's go. That is huge out of one pack of each. That is absolutely huge. Unreal. Photon Lizard and Unicorn. I think that the I think that's the Dark Magician Girl that's expensive. The, the gold one. I know the Dragon Knight is. The gold one is pretty nice either way. Here it is. The Maxi Pack. One of the most difficult packs for me to find in every pack. So this one is absolutely crazy. Yet again, shout out to the guy who helped me out grabbing it, which is incredible. Here we go. I mean, I think, Ma yeah, Max C is the huge card. It's like over $200 in here. So if we pull that, oh, it's backwards. Okay. All right, here we go. Fossil Dinah, it's a good card. Archfiend's Oath. And Consecrated Light. I'm not sure about this card. But that is a good, that's a, um, well, I don't know if it's a good pull or not, but very tough to find pack it really hurt to open that one because it took me weeks to find that and really i only got it because somebody hooked me up so that was awesome all right legacy of the valiant i i message everyone i message every youtuber to get those two packs the ots4 and the astro pack 4 and we had no luck not with any of them so it, it ended up just being one guy coming in clutch which is crazy bujingi fox so yeah i appreciate all you guys who did assist me they're looking for it i'm not I'm trying to slight you guys because you didn't have it but it's just showing how difficult that pack is to find it is crazy crazy hard okay shadow specters and now there's one less because i just opened it all right shadow specters Let's see if we can pull what is that divine dragon knight fell grand or whatever ghost i think that's his name that i was referring to earlier big win you get dude gets exodia out I, I like this one versus the skull servants soul drain number 64 we got a noble knight boars we did hit a foil nice we're running super low on sleeves. Okay. Getting close to an hour. It's been a long time. All right. Mega Pack Joey's World. May Legendary Collection 4, I should say. And um, I can't remember what the big pulls out of here are. I mean, there's some nice reprint secrets in here. Here we go. Reborn Zombie. Ancient Tool. Chain Destruction. Harpy Dancer. That's a cool card. Gateway to the Dark World. That's nice. Amazonist Paladin. Hell Palmer. And Harpy Girl. So there we go. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but some nice pulls. Astral Pack 3. Here we go. I have no idea what's in Astral Pack 3. It's not as rare as Astral Pack 4. I can tell you that. Okay, so last time, it doing it backwards didn't work. So, yeah, here we go. So it's... I'm not sure. I guess the foil's at the back. Nope, there it is. Noble Arms. There's no way to predict it. Noble Arms Gallatin. Super rare. We'll just do, we'll just do what we can. There's no way to know. All right. Judgment of the Light. We're down in like 2012 now, I think. So we've got about 10 years left worth of packs. All right. Shark Caesar. Bujim Fidel. Super Defense Robot. Flying Sea. Underworld Fighter. Cockadoodle-doo! <laughs> Check that out. Ultra rare Cockadoodle-doo. That is hilarious. Judgment of the Light. Yeah, no Star Eater there, but we'll take it. Oh, look. Chicolate, chick chicolate, chicolate, chick chicolate. Sing it with me, guys. Chicolate, chick chicolate. Yeah, I love it. Number Hunters. That's one of my favorite cards. Just because I love the name. Number Hunters. I'm guessing you can hunt some numbers in here. Let's see what we can do. Anomaly. Go, go, go. Puppet Ritual. Comics Hero King Arthur. None of those were a number card. So, what's up with the Number Hunters? Okay, I'm a little angry here. Why now? Just kidding. Cosmics Hero King Arthur. That's pretty cool, Secret Rare. Oh, War of the Giants. More chances at God cards. We've already pulled some. So maybe we can pull more. All right. Whoa. Packs are falling over. They're kind of like pinned under my computer. So we'll see if that'll continue to work or not. All right. Mausoleum of the Emperor. Yeah. No, <laughs> no God card. It's really tough to pull God cards out of there. But you can. All right. Here we get into the weird ones. We get to the power packs. These were in some sort of like... There's this box and there was some stuff in there. I don't know what's in here, so we're gonna open them up. But as I said, we're gonna let's start with this regular one. 
I try to get every pack. I don't know what's in here, so we're just gonna open them up. Let's see, I'm not even sure if this is the right time to open them. Oh yeah, I remember the set. It just has like the same cards, I think. Odd Eyes Dragon, which is not worth anything, but honestly, pretty cool card. So, not bad. I don't think you, actually, I don't think you get that every time. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. Here's a Super Starter Power Up Pack 5, or A. 5, where did 5 come from? I don't know. Ooh. Number C39, Utopia Ray Victory. Cool. We got a Swords of Revealing Light. Okay, that seems like maybe it comes in there every time. Is this some sort of, like, battle pack thing? Pretty cool, though. I like it. And then a Swords of Revealing Light. Nice card. Then we got a B. I bet it's some sort of, like, dueling thing or something like that. Kind of like Battle Pack. Rank Up Magic Limited Baryon's Force? It's Magic Cylinder. Yeah, this seems like it's totally for a built deck. So interesting. I'm assuming that's what it is, but I'm not sure. Okay. On to the next one. Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. I right, guess we got to pull a Ghost Rare on one of these. I mean, it would just make it epic. It would make it epic, that's for sure. Mim Mim. Mimimic, Battle and Boxer Counterpunch, Lightning Dragon, number 69, number 105, Battle and Boxer Star Cestus. Long name, but we got it, and it's a number card, so I'll take that. Good. Hidden Arsenal, oh, we're getting some big boys, the Hidden Arsenal. <laughs> At least maybe when we hit four, we can hit a Trishal up. That'd be pretty cool. All right, here we go. Eva Gishki, I'm not even going to bother doing the pack trick on these because they're not too valuable. And just not that exciting. Except maybe on the 4. We'll do it on 4. Because of Trishula. Astral Pack 2. Just going to open normally because I have no... Oh, there it is. Maybe you didn't see it. Not an Ultimate Rare. Oh, Instant Fusion. Nice. Sky, Sky Scout. They hadn't changed it in Astral Pack 2 yet. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Slushy. We'll set that aside. We got a nice Slushy Super Rare. Very Slushy. What is this? Instant Fusion. Okay, nice. We got uh, Star Pack 23. Man, 2013 was lit. You're open at him. Yeah. Hidden Arsenal. Well, I guess Harden Arsenal. Hidden. Harden. Not Harden. Not James Harden. Hidden Arsenal wasn't as bad when it came out, but it's terrible now. A Grinosaurus. Star Rare. I'm, I think stars were always bad. Cosmo Blazer. Here we go. First edition. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. We are over an hour, according to what I'm recording. It'll be cut a little shorter for you guys. Drag Impact, Dodo Bot, Frenity Archer, Fire Formation Tenki, Leotor, Abyss Scale of Cestus. Okay, Astral Pack 1, the, the first Astral Pack and the last we're opening. So here we go. Oh, there's the super. Rare. Oh, ruined it. Flame Veil, Fire Dog, Mystical Sand. That's just a cool looking regular old common. Closed Forest. Sleeve that up from Astral Pack 1. The first ever Astral Pack. Pretty cool. Abyss Rising. Once we get to this last row, it's really going to get hype, guys. All right. The Lemuria, the Forgotten City. Here we go. Solar Wind Jammer. Unification. One Shot Wand. Advance. Heraldry Art. House du Oh, it's the Dustins. The yellow old piece of toast with a tail. Oh, here we go. Here's one of my favorite, favorite reprint sets. Legendary Collection, Yugi's World. We can pull another Dark Magician Girl. I think that thing's over a hundred. That's like $150 now, people are saying. For a reprint Dark Magician Girl, which is insane. Here we go. Thousand Knives. Noxious Celtic Guardian. DD Assailant. Necro Valley. Not a bad pull. Commander Covington. Ooh. Reinforcement of the Army's not bad. Feral Imp. Cool. Yeah, I've never even heard of Commander Covington, so that's an interesting pull. I'll take that Reinforcement of the Army. That Necro Valley's got decent value. And I'll throw over the DD Assailant for a GOAT format. I just love to keep GOAT format stuff. All right. Return of the Duelist. Redu. So pull a Ghost Rare in here. We can pull all kinds of crazy stuff. I think it's... What was in here? Spellbooks, I think? Chronomaly. Number 39. Chronomaly. Makumek. Makumek. All right, there we go. Hidden Arsenal 6, Omega XYZ, XCs, whatever you want to call it. Chelsea came in for our luck, so she we got the second half luck here. Digusto Falcos. Sleeve it up, I'm not sure if it's good. Probably not, Hidden Arsenal. Oh, here we go, a big pack. 
Gold Series Han and Mine. Can we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon? We opened a whole box before and got nothing. So maybe this is this is it. Maybe this is the one. The Ghost Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. That would be incredibly, incredibly exciting. All right. We got it out of that pack. There's a million cards in here. Here we go. Let's see what we can do without giving it away. This is one of the most exciting packs you can open. Regenerating Mummy. Okay, yeah, let's just let's just go through these commons. Don's a Luke. Don's Luke's not bad. Copy Knight. Bone Crusher. Dawn of the Herald. Dark Scorpion Gord the Strong. Zombie Master. Go! Blue Eyes White Dragon! Boom! Ghost Rare! That totally snuck up on me. Alright. It does look like it might have a little ding at the top, but that's okay. Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. We pulled it this time. We didn't pull it out of an entire box. There's a big hit. To go along with our... Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, Obelisk, and Dark Magician. So good, good pulls so far. Go and for our gold rares, we got a Karakuri. That's a nice card. Cephalion. The two gold rares. Okay, Karakuri is pretty decent, I think. Some more commons. All right. After that, Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. Let's see, if we can pull out a Turbo Pack Eight. Crazy, crazy. We, we couldn't pull it out of five pack or five, yeah, five packs in the whole booster box. We got it in one pack, so that's that's epic. I'm glad we saved it for this opening, though. It's pretty insane. All right, I don't know where the card is here, so we're just going to guess. Elephant Statue of Disaster. Really eternal rest. Ready for intercepting, so we just got a rare. Out of our first turbo pack, Battle Pack Epic Dawn. Nothing too epic about Battle Pack, to be honest. Nothing great. Here we go. Cyber Valley. Hyper Hammerhead, Pot of Duality, that's a cool card, and Nightmare Wheel. So nothing great, but pretty cool. Galactic Overlord, can we pull Ghost Rare? No Ghost Rare, well, we did pull Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. I, I can't say we didn't, but that was guaranteed. But let's get another one. Falling Current, Light Ray Gear Free. Okay, nothing out of Galactic Overlord, but we have one of the most epic packs ever coming up. First edition raw yellow mega pack, known as one of the most uh, big value sets. Like for what you pay, you get a lot of value. There's a Stratos common right off the bat, right off the bat. Nice Mudball Man, Test Tiger, Wing Kribo level nine, Lumina Light Sworn Summoner, H Heated Heart. If that had been E Emergency Call, that's that's nice. Hero Signal, Cunning of the Six Samurai. So really, the really only pull out of there was the Stratos, but the Secret Rare H Heated Heart is really cool. So we'll see that up. Put the Stratos over in the common pile. Order of Chaos. What is what is the Ghost Rare in here? I can't remember. It's just not a very... <laughs> people don't really care about this set very much. Okay. Galaxy Storm. Photon Lizard. Splash Capture. Photon Trident. And Photon Crusher. They didn't give us anything, so okay. Turbo Pack 7. We're just going to open it normal. We don't know where it's going to be. Oh, there it is. It's in the front again, so... Yellow Gadget. And Gogo, -Go, the Gallant Ninja. Yellow Gadget, not bad. Okay. Whew, Hidden Arsenal 5. Yeah, epic pack. Not really. Okay. We can take a break from epicness with this one. Laval the Greater. Okay, that looks really cool, that's for sure. You can't you can't really argue with the how, how they look, but oh, the value wise well, not very good. Okay, Photon Shockwave, first edition. Can we pull the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon? My only Ghost Rare, or my first Ghost Rare, that wasn't out of the pack, it was out of an extra card. Evo Miracle, Stark Chick, Stickers, Kagatoko. I just have, I don't have very good luck. Oh no, guys. Josh told me that I would pull this in this opening, and I did. The Creepy Coney, the creepiest card. Okay. Legendary Collection 2, first edition. What do we want to pull? Like a Shining Flare Wingman? Or do we want to pull like a Super Poly? Something like that. Here we go. Necroshade. Card Blocker. Power Bond. That's a pretty cool Secret Rare. Okay. That's pretty cool. Secret Rare Power Bond. Very epic looking card. Alright. Generation Force. And you guys know what we're looking for out of Generation Force. This, by the way, is the first set in Zexel. So this is... we're After this, we're into 5Ds. So we're getting into the old stuff. We want to pull the number 17, Leviathan Dragon. Go, go, golem. Here we go. Phantom Magician. Yurgiano. No! 
Who would pull this guy every time? I said we were gonna pull this in the 10k. And a Raigeki bottle. We got an ultra rare, but it was not a very good one. Raigeki bottle it is. We pull that rare every time. Oh no. Oh no. Another extremely hard pack to find. Turbo pack six. Do you guys know what's in this pack? All right, we're gonna open this one backwards. Dark Armed Dragon, Ultimate Rare. Huge, huge card. If we pull this, we're losing our minds. Here we go. Okay, it's not. It, what, we did it right to pull it out backwards. Here we go. Green Kappa. Fusion Gate. And a Black Garden. We just got a regular rare. Man, if we had pulled, if we had pulled that, that would have been crazy. Oh my goodness, another crazy pack. World Championships 2011. I don't know if you guys have ever even seen this pack. I know some of you guys have. But I bet a lot of you guys have never seen this pack. This was given out at the World Championships. And there are two cards, I believe, in the pack. They're all... I think they're all supers or something like that. If you pull the Alligator Sword, that card is very expensive. So let's see what we can pull out of here. This one cost me like $250, just for reference. By the way, I did pay overpay a little bit. I think it was like $180. There was another one for $180. But still, $250 for two cards. That's what I paid. Here we go. All right, it's backwards. Perfect. Oh, it's got an ugly line on the back. Hopefully, that's not the... Uh, the big card. Well, hopefully it is. And I mean, it's better than not getting it. All right, here we go. Yeah, check that out. That line right across the back. World Championship 2011. Here we go. First card. Call of the Grave. That's really cool. And a Droll Bird. Okay, pretty cool card. It looks like a Psyduck. That's what it looks like. But check it out. All these cards are worth a decent amount because they're from World Championships. So we'll put those in the hit pile. Call of the Grave. That's pretty cool. They're all limited edition too, too which is cool. Epic. All right. Gold Series 4. Here we go. Make sure you guys like the video and comment for the chance to win the Power Tool Dragon 10. All right. Here we go. Gold Series 4. This is the uh, the one that comes in the big triangle thing. So this one's super weird. <laughs> and it's a massive pack. Oh, is the gold rare right at the front? Wait, what's the deal here? Okay, that, that didn't rip well. Is that the gold rare or are there more? Royal Oppression? Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, okay. That's a cool card. I don't think it's worth too much. But Chaos Sorcerer gold rare. I'm taking that. That's a good pull. And then we got a bunch of commons, so we'll run through those. I don't know why they put them at the front. Trade in. It's a nice card. Skull Dice. Pendulum Machine. That's a really cool anime card. Prometheus. Toon Dark Magician Girl. Injection Fairy Lily. Okay, cool. Those are all good cards. Throw those in that pile. And then we got Royal Oppression. I think used to be pretty good, but not too good now. We'll sleeve those up anyway. All right. We're almost to the last row. Okay. Duelist Pack Crow and then Extreme Victory. And then we are in the last row of just complete pure epicness. Here we go. We are over an hour into the video, so let's just see what we can do. Oh, I'm going to flip around here. Delta Crow. Whoops. Wait, what is going on here? Blackwing? Oh, I thought that was shiny. I was so confused. That was confusing. Okay. <laughs> on to the next one. Extreme Victory. Can we pull Tour Guide from the Underworld? I have pulled one of those before on the channel. It's pretty insane. Even though it was only like 15 bucks at the time, but... Here we go. Clock Resonator. Runaway Curry. Curry. TGX300. Chaos Infinity. Or Infinity. Okay, Elder of the Six Samurai. Nothing in that one. Okay, we made it to the last, whew, the last row. Here we go. Hidden Arsenal, Trishula's Triumph. Can we pull the big Trishula? We got to do it backwards because Trishula would be at the front. Still not very expensive, but used to be absolutely epic. So here we go. Let's get Trishula. Here we go. Neo Flameville, Garuda, the Fabled, Peglasus, something, Stink Bug, Ice Barrier. And General Gentalia of the Ice Barrier. This guy was fun to use in Duel Links for a little bit when you could use the Ice Barriers. All right. Oh, there's... I can't reach. There we go. Turbo Pack. Booster 5. Here we go. Don't know what's in here. Never opened Turbo Pack 5, I don't think. Here we go. Shield Crush. Royal Command. And Wolf, Lightsworn Beast. I think we're striking out of these turbo packs. 
That's okay. Ooh, movie pack. Bonds beyond time. Check out how warped this thing is. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so we're just gonna open this up. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, there it's got that line on the back too. Junk Garden, Malefica World, Claw Stream, and Paradox Dragon. Those are just horrifically bent. <laughs> Alright, let's move these up a little bit and let's go. Storm of Ragnarok, first edition. Max C is what we want. Even though it's banned, it's still crazy expensive. We have pulled that one before as well. Let's do it again. Here we go. Odin's Eye. Zing Zinhu Replica. Stardust Phantom. And nothing. Another miss. Alright. Duelist Pack, you say. Not even sure. I'm not sure. I guess you can pull Stardust. I think there's something else pretty decent in here. Somebody was telling me they like Duelist Pack, you say. Starlight Rote. Double Cyclone. Desperate Tag. Desperately tagging out. Alright. Hidden Arsenal 3. Whoa. It's alright. It's Hidden Arsenal. Nobody cares. Oh my. What in the world is this? What is this? Churia Cliff. That is a weird looking card. That is a very weird looking card. Alright. Turbo Pack Booster 4. Yeah, this one. This Turbo Pack 4, unlike Astro Pack 4 and OTS Pack 4, was not impossible to find. Alright, whoops. Alright, King of the Skull Servants. Key Mace. It's a cool card. And Psychic Commander. I think it's a reprint of an original tournament pack. Star Strike Blast. Here we go. First edition. I don't really know much what's in here besides shooting Star Dragon. I haven't opened like maybe any at all ever. So let's just see what we can get. Alright, Mirror of the Ice Barrier. Cursed Bill. Barkian's Bark. Nothing. Duelist Revolution. Okay. Here's a big one. We can pull some epic cards like Effect Veiler, Ultimate Rare. We can pull Solemn Warning, Ultimate Rare. We can pull the Pot of Awesome. If you guys don't know what that means, and check out that video. Pot of Awesome video. Rhinotaurus. Naturia Forest. I have no corn. Damage Eater. And Miracle Synchron Fusion. I've never really pulled anything out of Duelist Revolution. Oh, here we go. Another World Championship card. This one is all rare, so it's not quite as good. But still a cool World Championship 2010 pack. Let's see what we can pull. I don't even really know what's in here. It's it's just a bunch of rares. They're all rares, I think. Here we go. <laughs> Mu Yan Curry. I think that's actually a pretty good pull. And an Exod Master of the Guard. So pretty cool. Exod, Master of the Guard. Kind of looks like a giant Exodia. Pretty cool. 2010 World Championship promos. Alright, Hidden Arsenal 2. We're finally almost done with Hidden Arsenal. Oh, we got the Jirak Tyrannus. Lord Tyrannus. Is this uh, Star Wars or what's going on here? Okay. Turbo Pack 3. Can we finally get an ultimate out of a turbo pack? I'm guessing no, but it'd be nice. Here we go. Oh, common. X Saber. Okay, yeah. We're not even getting foils out of there. Okay. Gold Series 3. Let's get some epic goldness. Get hyped, guys. We're getting close to the original series. LOB. Metal Raiders, etc. Maybe we'll pull something crazy out of there. All right, gold rares at the front. Okay, I already ruined one, so let's just do it like this. Okay, we got a bunch of commons. Commons, commons. So many commons. Fernity Dwarf. Amazonist Fire. A lot of Amazonist cards. Black Whirlwind. Okay, here we go. Hero Prisma. Gale the Whirlwind. And Plague Spreader Zombie. That's a pretty cool card. Pretty nice gold rares there. All right. Shining Darkness. Pulled the, obviously, we would love to pull the Black Wing Dragon Ghost Rare. I would not be opposed to that. Here we go. Watt Cube. Morphtronic Scramble. Trigon. Zero Max. We got a Super Rare. Ronin Totem. Nice common card there. Gen X Controller. So we got a Super Rare. Nice common. Not a bad pack. All right. Ooh, Duelist Pack 
Kaiba first edition. Can we pull an ultimate rare out of here? That would be insane. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, we gotta go this way. Just in case. I don't think they put them at the front, but... I don't want to ruin it if we pull a Chaos Emperor or a Pot of Greed. Oh, wait, no. It's it's right here. That's where it is. Okay, it's upside down right there. Alright, cost down. Ancient Lamp. And Rage Battle Ox. Doesn't that mean we have something? I think that means we have something. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Super rare. Okay. There we go. Another epic Blue Eyes. That is insane. Absolute power force. Another blue eyes white dragon. Uh oh, we lost a wrapper. Break dawn. Consecrated light. Triacular. Ooh, a dragon queen of tragic endings. Oh, this is played by that. Uh, I finally got to that part in 5Ds where the the lady lost her. She lost her brother or whatever, and she played the tragic endings card. So I actually know what that's from. Okay. Duelist pack. You say, what is this? You say two? Okay, you say two. Here we go. Harbor Synchron. Release Restraint Wraith. Skill Successor. Assault Move Activate. And Level Eater. Alright. So nothing from you say that time. Alright. Turbo Pack 2. What can we pull? Alright, let's see. Turbo Pack. Give us something. Iron Core Quacky Mirror. Reflect Bounder. And Light Imprisoning Mirror. Okay. Here we go. First edition, Stardust Overdrive. This is one of the sets that only came out in tins and pre-release. They did not have a first edition booster box of this. So getting a first edition pack is pretty difficult and pretty expensive. So hopefully we can pull something epic. Gemini Counter. Inherited Fortune. Okay. So nothing crazy. We didn't even pull the epic. A Pointer of the Red Lotus. It was a very expensive common. Like 20 bucks or something crazy like that. All right. The last hit or the first hit in Arsenal, but the last for the opening. I think these are all secret rares in this one. Here we go. Commander, Gotham, Swordsmaster. Oh, never mind. No, they're not. Detonate. We got a Kariba. Okay. Same thing with Ancient Prophecy. Also did not have a first ed, first ed booster box. So I pulled this out of a tin. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull an epic ghost rare. Cyborg Doctor. Flame Veil Counter. Iron Core Luster. Arcana Night Joker. Okay, Core Blaster and Water Hazard. So nothing in that Ancient Fairy, unfortunately. But on to Turbo Pack 1. I believe the Judgment Dragon is in here as an Ultimate Rare, which is a very epic card as well. Here we go. Gladiator Beast Laquari. Raikou Light Sword Hunter. And a Satellite Cannon. That's a cool card. That's also in Champion Pack 1 as an Ultra Rare, which is pretty cool. So then it goes to Champion Pack 2. And here we go. An epic pack. Retro Pack 2. If we pull the blue eyes shining in this one, I mean, that's been our luck. We don't pull the blue eyes, then we pull it in the 10k in one pack. So why don't we pull the blue eyes shining real quick? Not, not a cheap card, that's for sure. Here we go. Guardian Sphinx, Gravekeeper's Assailant, Premature Burial, Lightning Blade, Nightmare Wheel. Okay, we just got a rare. I see how it is, Retro Pack 2. Always stingy with us. That was an unweighed pack, by the way. I got it out of a blister. All right, here we go. Which may or may not be able to pull Blue Eyes Shining. We're not really sure. Duelist Pack Yugi First Edition. Huge missed opportunity. Not giving ultimate rares in this set. Oh, we got an exchange rare. Red Gadget, Jack's Knight, and Queen's... Oh, Jack's and Queen's Knight. Nice. Pretty cool. First Edition. On to Raging Battle. We have had some pretty good luck with Raging Battle. We At first, I had terrible luck. And then I pulled that epic Ultimate Rare Power Tool Dragon. So check out that video in the eye. Assuming I make it this far in editing. Here we go. Mind Trust. Tuner Capture. Junk Box. Thorn of Malice. Empress Sim. Automatic Laser. Lava Dragon. <laughs> Lava. Lava Dragon. <laughs> okay. And we're on Gold Series 2009, the second Gold Series to ever come out. The first one is in 2008, and that's the one with the crazy crush card. It's very difficult to pull. Check out this. They gave you a deck in this. There are so many cards. Oh, the golds are at the front. There's so many cards in this pack. That's because they give you this huge box, and it comes with only one pack, so it's really weird. Compulse is a nice card. 
Oh, we're showing those golds back there. Alias, Exile the Wicked. Treeborn Frog. Mobius. Lord Poison. Six Samurai. Skyscraper. All right, here we go. Snipe Hunter. Volcanic Rocket. Is there only two? No, there's three. Okay. Des Volstograph. That's cool. And Necro Gardena. Okay. This is a nice looking card. That's a nice pull. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Duelist Pack, you say. The first one of three. So, we finally got to the original. Let's see if we can pull something epic. Like a Stardust. Junk Synchron. Defense Draw. Shield Warrior. Urgent Tuning. Give and Take. We got a Super Rare. Okay. We got a Checklist card, too. That's pretty cool. Give and Take. I'll take that. Haha. <laughs> see what I did there? All right. Champion Pack 8. We're on to Champion Packs. We are into the champion packs. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, I spoiled it for myself. I'll try not to spoil it for you guys. All right. Alien Warriors. Vanity's Ruler. That's a nice common. And Magician's Valkyria. So pretty cool. Vanity's Ruler. Nice common. All right, here we go. Shonen Jump Anniversary Pack. This has the same cards in it every time but it's a very expensive pack because there's some pretty epic cards in it. So let's go into it. There is a Blue Eyes White Dragon in here. Some other card. There it is, right off the bat, you get the Blue Eyes. Apparently the print quality is not too great for this set. So let's see how ours look. This was straight out of the box. So there's a Blue Eyes, looks pretty good. The centering's not great. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Summon Skull. Celtic Guardian, these awesome epic alternate artworks. The Gayutino Megayami. Buster Blader, Jinzo, and the dog. This is the guaranteed pet. And the Shiba Warrior. Okay, so let's leave all these up real quick. They're all super nice cards. Then we'll go through them a little bit more in depth. I don't want to damage them or anything. Very good. Epic pack that Konami released in 2008. Really, really cool idea to have. Alternate artworks of all the epic monsters. They don't have a... Uh, Dark Magician in here, but the epic, but the alternate artwork was on a jump promo, so they kind of did it there. So here we go. We got the blue eyes. These are all pretty valuable too, like 30, I think it's like 50 bucks, like 30 for the red eyes, maybe more. You got all these epic alternate artwork, so it's really cool to be able to open up that pack and get all these mint conditions, so I'm really excited about that. Those will be going in our epic pulls. All right, and let's continue. We got Dark Legends. Here we go. This, um, I can't remember, it's kind of like Retro Pack, the English version, but you don't, you can't get secrets, so it's not as cool. It's pretty rare, though. Pretty, pretty rare. Here we go. Got a Yumaruka, Giant Germ, Nimbabunga, Toon Mermaid, Mystical Space Typhoon, Mask of Darkness, Kuribo, Hain Hain, Gazelle, Cannon Soldier, Summon Skull, and Acts of Despair. So yeah, we... I made a bet with, or not, not really a bet, but me and Chelsea are, we made picks. We picked 10 cards each, and whoever gets the most right wins, or gets the most pulled in the opening. She picked Mystical Space Typhoon. That's her first point, so it's 3-1 right now. I have blue eyes. I, we didn't count the anniversary pack, though, because it was automatic. Okay, Crimson Crisis. Here's the unlimited pack we had to pick, but we did get it out of a 10, so we know it's on weight, at least, so that's pretty cool. Maybe we can pull the Scarlight, not Scarlight, the, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, sorry. Scarlight, yeah. We, we already pulled Scarlight. Here we go. Vengeful Servant. Fake Explosion. Maki. Hyper Psychic Blaster. There we go. Ultra Rare. What's going on with the thing here? Okay, there we go. Hyper Psychic Blaster. That's a nice Ultra Rare pull. Pretty cool. Right out of the pack. Unlimited, unfortunately, because we had to use that one. Here we go. A huge pack. Crossroads of Chaos. You can pull the Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. You can also pull the Ultimate Rare, which, by the way, is back there. If we pull a Ghost Rare, then we're going to lose it. Oh, where did I get this pack from again? I can't remember. Horsey Tail. Power Injector. Morphtronic Monitron. Psychic Jumper. Storm Caller. Okay, so you just got a regular common, unfortunately. That's a pretty expensive pack. You can only get those in the tins as well. And now, since we've just done that one... It's time for the Duelist Genesis. Woo! First edition Stardust potential. Here we go. These packs are incredibly rare. Here we go. Synchro Deflector. 
Mind Protector. Mega Bunny. Equip Shot. And a Graceful Revival. Okay, no foils. Striking out on those big packs, but they're pretty, pretty tough to pull those big cards. Okay, Champion Pack Game 7. Here we go. Let's keep this turned around if we can. There we go. Try and save the wrapper as much as we can. Champion Pack Game 7. Flip that around. All right, Dimensional Inversion. Memory Crusher. Vanity's Fiend. That's not too bad. It's a nice rare card. Here we go. Premium Pack 2. This is the one with the uh, misprint secrets, I believe. They're not supposed to be secret, but they are. So let's try not to... Or is that Premium Pack 1? I can't remember. Or maybe it's both. I think it's both of them, actually. Oh, secret. We got a Hero's Bond. Sing and Jin. See, this can be secret rare, and then it's really valuable like that. Heritage Christ and Elemental Hero Inferno. That's pretty cool. Some secret rares there. The War Lion looks pretty cool. Oh, man. Retro Pack 1. We opened a mini box of this against Rhyme Style and struck out, went 0 for 3. So, this was a loose pack off eBay. So, the chances that there's anything in it is extremely slim. It's already slim anyway, even without the potential of being scaled. But if we do hit something out of here, there are some massive cards like Scapegoats Ultra Rare. The secret rares are like unchartedly expensive. It's insane. Okay, here we go. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Baby Dragon. Yes. Toon Summon Skull. Right Arm of the Forbidden One. We got another Exodia Piece Rare out of Retro Back. Thousand Dragon. Chelsea is racking up the points. She had Baby Dragon and Thousand Dragon in her picks. So she just she's coming back. I think she might be ahead now. Or we're tied. Okay. Right Arm of the Forbidden One. So all I do is pull rares out of Retro Pack. And we always get Right Arm of the Forbidden One or something like that. Okay. Light of Destruction First Edition. Another huge, extremely rare First Edition pack. Any foil out of here is going to be epic. I got, I bought this one off of TCG Player. The chances that there's a foil in here is basically zero. But if there is, we're, that's incredible. Golden Ladybug. Yep, that, that's kind of what I expected out of that one. Dice Try. Yeah, there you go. Dice Try. It's just memeing us for even opening that. All right. Champion Pack Game 6. Here we go. See what we can pull here. Amplifier for the Jinzo. And Elemental Hero Stratos. That's a good rare. There we go. Out of Champion Pack. That's really cool. So that's a good pull. Ooh, Gold Series 2008. Here's where you can pull the Crush Card Virus. One out of every ten boxes. So extremely difficult. Booster boxes. So not easy. Okay, it looks like the rares are at the end, or the gold rares. Oh, it's really hard to keep these. There's so many cards. Needleworm, cool card. That's a cool common, I'm going to set that aside. Oh man, we're just... Old Vindictive Magician, cool. Alright, here we go. Goo Woo Lord of Dark World. Breaker, that's awesome. And Brain Control, okay. Pretty cool cards. Pretty cool. We'll put that Needleworm. You don't see a lot of printings of Needleworm, so that's pretty cool. And then all the gold rares. I especially like the Breaker. Very cool. Those packs are getting pretty expensive. They're like 40 bucks now or something, which is insane. All right. Phantom Darkness. Another insanely priced GX set. I mean, almost all of them are at this point. Here we go. Armored. Cybern. Atlantean Pikeman. Sea Koala. Acidic Downpour. Deep Sea Macro Trima. Gemini Trap Hole. And Dow and double tag team, so nothing there. We're striking out on those, but that's okay. Duels pack, Jesse Anderson. Moving on. Can we get something epic? Here we go. Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle, Twister, Crystal Pear, Crystal Blessing, and Last Resort. All right. Duelist pack, Jaden Yuki 3. Come on. Come on, Jaden. Oh, wow. Check wow. that damage out. That's not good. Swing of memory, so that one's damaged too. Neospatian Grand Mole. Elements Hero Neos Ali er, Alias. Yeah, Dark Fusion. I don't think we have hit a single foil out of the Duelist packs. Which, no, we hit one out of Duelist pack Kaiba. I mean, like the, the GX ones. Which is okay, because they're not like that great. But uh, we haven't done anything out of those. 
All right, champion pack. Oh, game five goes this way, apparently. Hammer shot. Amazon of the Seas. And a Dark Ruler, Hades. Or also known as Hades. Pretty cool. Ooh, big pack. Dark Revelation Volume 4. Straight from one of the sealed boxes. So I know this one is unweighed. Got this one from Yu-Gi-Oh! too. He hooked me up. So that's pretty epic. Hopefully we can pull a secret rare DD Assailant. Here we go. There's some incredible commons in here too. Mariner, Chain Thrasher, Mechanical Hound, V Tiger Jet, Whirlwind Weasel. Wait, here we go. Let me. Oh my goodness. There we go. Whirlwind Weasel. Guard penalty. Oh, D time. Weed out. Success probability zero. And she and spy. So nothing out of that one. Man. Alright, we're on a cold streak. Can we hit something big? Glass. Gladiator's Assault. First edition. I can't remember where I got this one either. Hey, we can pull an epic magic formula and just go crazy. Here we go. Chamber of the Six Samurai. Fog Control. Cloudy and Acid Cloud. Super Alloy Beast Raptinus and Lucky Cloud. Nothing. So we're on to Premium Pack. This will have us a nice secret rare in here. I want to pull the Dark Magician of Chaos. Or no, sorry. The Magician of Black Chaos. All right, here we go. Javelin Beetle. Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon. That's cool as the misprint. Return Zombie Secret. Gemini Imps Secret. And Legacy of Yadagrasu. Okay. Champion Pack 4. We've opened a 100-pack box of this. Oh, it looks like it was already kind of opened. That's not good. I don't know when that happened, but that's okay. Manju, okay. Where did... Oh, I don't even know how that happened. That's weird. It, the glue must have come off or something. All right, well, actually, we can, we can save this, though. Okay, since we technically didn't open it. All right, Manju, that's that's a good pull. Here we go. We have another pack. Epic. Epic save, Ruxin. I know, epic save. All right, here we go. Champion pack four. Let's see what we got. That was very weird. I don't know why that one was open. Okay. Here we go. DD Survivor. Grand Tiki Elder. And a Confiscation. These are very slimy. It's very weird. Alright, on to Tactical Evolution. Make sure you guys check out when we pulled the Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. It should be up in the eye. Oh yeah, starting off with a nice common gift card. Shield Spear. Venom Cobra. Flint Missile. Thousand Eyes Jellyfish, Reverse of Neos, and Ambush Fangs. Alright, so gift card. That's a good that's a good one, two dollars there. We have a force of the breaker here. Can we pull an epic ultimate rare card? How about uh, I'm if it's a retail pack, it would be the uh, Harpy Queen, I think. Blaze Accelerator, Mass Hypnosis, Master of Barriers, Go Go the Gallant Ninja, Tornado. And field barrier. All right, champion pack three. Can we break our streak of tournament packs? So tournament packs aren't doing too great. Can we pull something good out of here? Oh, Petru's Circle of Enchantment. Oh, Kaiba Man, that's a cool card. Kaiba Man common, I'll take that. Here's another one that was really annoying. Duelist pack Kaiba, or sorry, Zane, first edition. Duelist pack Zane, first edition. It was just very annoying to find in first edition. Like, there was a lot of the unlimiteds. I think it only comes in this, like, 10 or something like that. And I finally found a guy that was selling 18 of them, so I had to buy all of them to get him. He wouldn't sell me one. He was being a jerk. Here we go. Limiter removal. Trap jammer. Power bond again. And call the haunted. We've pulled a few power bonds. All right, so here we go. The last little bit. We've only got, like, what, 25 packs left? We got Strike of Neos. Oh man, Strike of Neos. Can we pull a Grandmaster? We can pull a, you know, a Air Neos, something crazy like that. Six Samurai, Change of Hero, Spiral Serpent, Nishashi, Six Samurai, and Grin. All right. Astro Phoenix, come on. Yeah, there's the problem. When you're opening all these loose packs, another thing about finding loose packs is they basically don't exist, you know, unweighed. So you got to do your absolute best. Destiny or Defender, D Chain, Dark City, to find them unweighed, but you know, you never really know. You gotta trust people sometimes, which you know, they have bought it from somewhere, and then that person before them had scaled it or something like that. So it's pretty tough to find unweighed packs. So you gotta do what you can. 
And if you find you get a foil, just be really happy. <laughs> Fake hero. Element hero, wild edge. E emergency call. That's a good pull. Hero kid. That's a good common. Right now we're just pulling commons. That's all we can pull. But a good one. Next one, our champion pack two. This is this one was good to us. We pulled pretty well when we opened champion pack two. The ratios are very tough to pull foils, so probably not going to do that. Here we go. Ceasefire. Stray Lambs. Ring of Destruction. Not a bad rare. We've pulled quite a few of those. Oh, we got McDonald's pack. This is the McDonald's pack 2. It only it doesn't have any foils in it or anything, but it has some, some rares, I believe. Let's see. GX McDonald's pack. Here we go. Food of Summoning Karibo, Zone Eater, and Trachodon. Pretty cool. Alright, Dark Revelation. What is this? Volume 3. Okay, we're no secrets in these now, which is unfortunate. Kind of really made the sets not that exciting. But still some pretty epic cards. Here we go. Neo Aquamador. Panda. Saurus. Noble Eater Bug. Raging Flame Sprite. Mega Dog Marin. Oh, we hit a foil, finally. Greed. <laughs> That reminds me of that solo duelist box that should never be mentioned again. Greed super rare. We got a pole position, two man cell battle, big wave, small wave, and final ritual of the ancients. Cyber Dark Impact. Maybe we can pull an epic Vanity's Fiend Ultimate Rare, something like that. That would be pretty crazy. Any Ultimate Rare would be great. Vanity's Call, Cyber Ogre, Mystical Wind Typhoon. And a Cyberdark Keel. There we go. We got a Cyberdark card. That's pretty cool. If that was Ultra Rare, it'd be pretty crazy. Super Rare, we will take it. All right, Corruption Cell A, Blast Edmodian, and Chain Healing. Champion Pack 1, guys. Let's just take a second. This is probably one of the rarest packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Because... Every foil in this pack is extremely expensive. There's five foils, and they're all extremely expensive. The cheapest one's the Ultra. There's just none of these anywhere. Nobody has them, because they were all opened up. Because they they have Metamorphosis, Book of Moon, uh, I think Sakuretsu Armor is in here, I think? And something like that. And then another incredible one. I think it's like Night Assailant. No, it's not Night Assailant. I don't remember. And then the Satellite Cannon Ultra Rare. And then there's even good rares in here. So it's just unreal. I paid $120 for this pack. Three cards. Yeah. So hopefully we can pull something. If we pull something out of here, I'm going to be absolutely shocked. Because the foils are incredibly expensive out of here. Especially Book of Moon. It's like a $400 ultimate rare. Or what is it? Super rare? Yeah, super rare. No ultimate rares at this point. All right, I'm trying to pull this out. Very, very sealed, so that's a good that's good news. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can pull something. Here we go. I'm gonna keep that wrapper because that was that one was tough. That one was tough to find and expensive. Here we go. Threatening roar, thunder kid, and enemy controller. We did get a rare, so that's pretty cool. I think you get a rare every time, but pretty cool one. Enemy controller. So 120 bucks, basically down the drain on that one. But crazy, crazy pack. Extremely rare. So if you ever see those, you should probably buy them. Power of the Duelist First Edition. Like, I really didn't want to open that pack. That champion pack one. Because I don't think I'll ever get another one. Okay. Wonder Garage. Elemental Hero Neos. D Spirit. Flying Saucer. Overload Fusion. Not a bad rare. Black Stego and Common Soul. We're getting close to the originals, guys. Enemy of Justice. You guys know. You guys know about Enemy of Justice. It is not. It is not my. Not my best set. That's for sure. Here we go. Cyber Gymnast. Can we pull the Shining Phoenix Enforcer? Cyber Tutu. O Oversoul. Majestic Mech Oka. Power Capsule. Batterman DD and Macrocosmos. Not a bad common there. Oh, here we go. We're getting into the tournament packs, guys. Even worse chance to pull a foil. We can't do it anyway, so might as well just, you know, do this. I had a heavy TP5 pack I thought about putting in here, but I was like, I'll save that for another video. So keep an eye on that. We There's a definite foil. I have a TP5 pack with a foil in it. All right, here we go. Um, I don't know if it'd be at the front or not. Ooh, Wretched Ghost of the Attic. Epic card. Ultimate offering. 
and Biogen. All commons, but this is an epic Karibo. Um, what do you call what do you call that? A doppelganger. Karibo doppelganger. Wretched Ghost of the Attic. So we're sleeping up those because tournament pack cards. Shadows of Infinity. Let's see what we can do. Whew. Symbol of Heritage. Sand Moth. Generation Shift. Chain Thrasher. And Phantasma Martyrs. This is a really cool ultimate rare. Um, this is just a rare version. Oh, DD Guide. That's $2 common, I think. Yeah, I have pulled the Phantasmal Martyr, Phantasmal Martyrs Ultimate Rare before, but it was unlimited, but still pretty cool. Chaz Princeton. Come on, Chaz, give us something. Let's see if we can pull something good. Whew, hope you guys are enjoying this very long video. I appreciate it if you guys watched it, and I hope you did enjoy it, because it was expensive. And obviously, we're not making our money back. <laughs> okay. Arm Dragon Level 3, VWXYZ, and Ojama Black and Ojama Green. Look at that. That's a good pack right there. That's a real good pack. Next, Duelist Pack, Jaden Yuki. Is this number one? Oh, the first one. The original. We're getting into the OG packs, guys. All first edition. Let's go. Here we go. Rottweiler, Transcendent Wings, Skystrip with that lowered name. Pretty cool. Elm Zero Clayman, and Polymerization. Pretty cool. Elemental Energy, Shining Flare Wing Man, Elemental Hero Tempest, Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. Like, this is a loaded set. Oh, so many cool cards. Here we go. Forces of Darkness, Oja Muscle, Bonding H2O, Familiar Possessed Wind. That's pretty cool. Hero Barrier, Gateway to Dark World, Zero Knight of Dark World, Roll Out, Hydra Get On. Okay. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Tournament pack seven. Can we pull the whale? If we pull a whale, it'd be crazy. Crazy to pull the whale. Come on, whale. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's sealed tight. You know what they say. Probably something in there then. Alright, we got a uh a Prisman. Soul Exchange and a Hinoa. So nothing in TP7. Ooh, dude. Dark Revelation Volume 2. Potential Black Luster Soldier. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Epic reprints. Here we go. Skull Ladybug. Desk Kangaroo. White Magician Picker. White Doctor of Chaos. Despotier. And Enemy Controller. Again, we're pulling Enemy Controllers everywhere. That's a super rare. So we got the rare out of Champion Pack 1. We got the super rare reprint in Enemy... Of, <laughs> not Enemy. Enemy Controller in... Dark Revelation 2, so that's pretty awesome. Maybe we'll get one in Ancient Sanctuary that's gradable. That's a pretty tough card to get. Cybernetic Revolution. This actually is a hobby pack. So we know you have a chance at the Cyber and Dragon. Uh, the chances are basically zero, but there is a chance, unlike a retail pack. Here we go. Arrival appears. Fusion Recovery. Gyroid. Death Frog. And a Dimension Wall Spiritual Wind Dark. Dark Beginning 2. Um, what can we pull out here? We pull Cannon Soldier. You can pull the Rare of uh, Cyberstein. Pretty cool. Here we go. Midas Radiant. Baby Dragon. Shadow Tamer. Gazelle King of Mythical Beasts. Cyberstein Rare. It's one of the most expensive cards in here, actually. I Probably less now that they've reprinted Cyberstein a few times, but pretty cool. Trap Dust Shoot is nice. Okay, tournament pack six. Can we get the Toon Cannon Soldier? Or would it be even more epic? Toon Table of Contents. That would be really awesome. Oh, no, we ruined it. Rare. Susa Soldier. Emergency Provisions. And Thunder Nyan Nyan. Pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to put those TP7s in sleeve, but I actually have a lot of TP7 commons, so it's okay. All right, the Lost Millennium. Let's pull something epic like an Ancient Gear Golem. If you guys saw my Dark Magician Girl 10, you saw the Ancient Year Golem pull. It was insane. Which, you're like, wait, they're not even supposed to have lost money. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> that was what was so crazy. Okay, nothing in that one. Also the Earth Charmer. Dark Revelation 1. Can we pull... Wait, I'm trying to think. What is in Dark Re Revelation 1? Maybe Exodia Necros? Is he in Dark DR1? Here we go. Oh, Reaper on the Nightmare. Not a bad rare. 
Dark Scorpion. I hate how it's the very beginning. Oh no, there is a super. Amazonus Archers. There we go. Okay, so there is a super rare. Epic. Amazonus Archers. Thunder of Ruler. Wave Motion Cannon. Nice. And Gather Your Mind. Okay, that's some good uh, good value in that pack. Put that over there. All right. Flaming Eternity. First edition. Has a little thing on the front. Let's see if we can pull... What do we want out of here? Basically any ultimate rare I would take. Because we haven't hit one, so that'd be great to hit one. Elemental Burst. Valkyrie. Beast Soul Swap. Oh, there's one! Ultimate rare. Big Tusk Mammoth. Oh, that's awesome. The back... Oh, there's that classic Flaming Eternity. If you guys don't know, Flaming Eternity, Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, they have the worst print quality ever. Look at the back. That's a pack fresh card, looks like that. But I'm not complaining. Ultimate rare. Oh, look at the foil shift. Is that foil shift or is it supposed to be like that? Time out, time out, time out. Maybe it's supposed to be like that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. If, you, if you've made it two hours into the video, let me know if that is supposed to be like that. Okay. Here we go. One of my other best sets, Rise of Destiny. Can we pull Machine Dupe? That's a good pull. Ultimate rare, maybe? Or the uh, Dekoichi. I would love that. Magician. A-Team Trap Disposal. We pulled that ulti one time. Oh, we got two Wood Borgen Patches. Interesting. All right. Tournament Pack 5. I could have put the Heavy Pack in right here, so there could be a Heavy, but I decided not to. All right. Versago the Destroyer. Curse of Royal. And a Tornado Bird. We got all commons in the TP5. Could have been a Heavy Pack, but you guys will see that later, so make sure you subscribe for that. Dart getting one. I would love to hit a Blue Eyes. Whoops. I have a Blue Eyes White Dragon from back in the day, but I don't have... I haven't pulled one. So here we go. Nimble Momonga. Okay, well, maybe we can pull a foil like we did in Dark Revelation still. Penguin Knight. Dark King of the Abyss. I don't think you can. Parasite. Parasite, Parasite. Gravity Bind. Return of the Doomed. And Painful Choice. Okay. Soul of the Duelist. I really... I think this is a retail pack. So I would love to pull a Arm Dragon level 5 or a Horus level 4 Ultimate Rare. Oh, level up. Good start. That's a good common. Noble Meteor Bug. Cemetery Bomb. Arm Dragon level 7. Mystic Swordsman level 2. That would be a sweet ultimate as well. Horus's Servant. Dark Factory. Any Rage Move. Let's check out the back of these. Wow, actually clean, cleanish looking cards at Assad. I'm sure the ultimates wouldn't, but not bad. Definitely better than my booster box, though. Level up. Nice first edition common. All right. Here we go. The one and only movie pack. The original movie pack. All right, here we go. Shonen Jump. Oh, my goodness. Can't get it out. We have the chance to pull... Wait a second. The blue eyes shining dragon with one card. Let's do this. Yes! Blue eyes shining dragon. Incredible. Not a very expensive card. But yet a blue eyes shining dragon. The only foil card out of this four card set. There we go. Another blue eyes shining dragon. Epic. Okay, where is the... Okay, there it is. Okay. I was like, where's the McDonald's pack? Okay, exclusive pack. This pack has the Sphinxes in it, and it always has the Sphinxes in it, so uh, no reason to get too crazy here. Sphinx, Sphinx, and Sphinx. Turn from a different dimension, and all those commons come with it. So that's pretty normal. I'm going to still put these in a sleeve, because maybe could grade those. I mean, people love those because they remember them, because everybody had the Sphinxes. And everyone thinks they're worth a lot. <laughs> okay, we're into the original. Ancient Sanctuary, first edition pack. Can we get a big foil out of one of these? Out of here, we'd love an enemy controller. Ultra rare. First dead. Here we go. Human Wave Tactics. Solar Flare Dragon. The Law of the Normal. Camouflage Armor. And Theban Nightmare. And Rocket Jumper. Alright. Ooh, here's a big one. Here is a really big one. Invasion of Chaos. First edition. Any foil in here is going to be nuts. Thanks to Fix Luck for hooking me up with this one and the Magician's Force Pack at a very cheap price for what they're really worth. Here we go. Molten Zombie. Soul Tiger. 
Manju the 10,000 hands. Very good. It's a very good common. Primal Seed. And an Ultra Evolution pill. So there's no foil in there, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna sleeve up all these IOC commons just because when is anybody opening IOC anymore? Manju the 10,000 hands. That's a very nice mint Manju. Next, Dark Crisis. I got this from a guy on, uh, like, on, on like offer up or something. I can't remember. So maybe we'll pull something. Whoops. Here we go. Shooting Star Bow Seal, Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender, Archfiend's Roar, and a Sukiyomi. That's a nice rare. Token Thanksgiving. Dark Scorpion Chick, the yellow. Sukiyomi. That's pretty good rare. Oh, I should probably be sleeving up these Dark Crisis ones too. Okay, Magician's Force, huge pack. Look at, well, speaking of huge pack, it's actually really wide. So, this one, I don't know if it's a Dark Magician Girl pack or not, but it also could have Dark Paladin, you have Breaker, could have all that crazy stuff. So, any foil out of here, we're going to be happy with. Here we go Kaiser Coliseum, Amazonist Blowpiper, Gather Your Mind, Pigeon Holding Book of Spells, and a Continuous Destruction Punch. Rival of Warlords, Great Angus, Amazonist Fighter, and Des Dindal. Alright, next pack. Tournament pack four. Potential Royal Decree or Morphing Jar, which would be nutty. Morphing Jar would be crazy. Oh, you ripped it. Ripped the pack. Alright. Hayabusa Knight. Here we go. Send you of the 10,000 hands and Karate Man. All right. So let's see those up as well. Because TP4. TP4 had pretty poor print quality as well. All right. Pharaonic Guardian. A lot of good commons in here. Not too many crazy foils, though. This would be the one we'd pull a foil in. All right. Come on. Dark Snake Syndrome. Oh my. Check out the damage on this card. That is not good. Timidity. Non aggressive area. Muga's Yolk, Curse of Royal, Royal Keeper, Pyramid Energy, Bottomless Shifting Sand, and Dark Dust Spirit. The, yeah, the print quality on, uh, on Ferrani Guardian is horrible, so a lot of the old ones have really bad print quality. Next, Legacy of Darkness. I have, I got this one from, I can't, where did I get it from? I think someone, yeah, someone on Instagram, I think. And I, yeah, Let's Duel, and he... I'd gotten a foil from his other pack, so maybe this has a foil as well. Throwstone Unit, Super Robo Yaru, Bark of Dark Ruler, Winged Minion, Magic Reflector, Woodland Spirit, Dragon's Gunfire, Winged Beater Giant Dragon, and Dragon Manipulator. Hey guys, I know you weren't expecting to see me at this point. So at this point of the opening, we have 10 packs left. I've opened 227 packs. Hope you guys have enjoyed the about two hours of content. And we're getting into the final stretch. You're getting hyped for the Big Ten. And guess what? I have some bad news. But I think we, I think we, I can resolve it and we can fix it. But the bad news is I recorded the last ten packs. But I didn't press record. No! Yeah, I know, guys. But here's the good news. Okay, the bad news is, obviously, I didn't actually record myself opening it. However, I do have... The face cam footage, so I still have the reaction. So I have the reaction to the opening, and I also have redone, and I literally tried to put them back in the packs exactly how they were for when I didn't record it. I know now it, it, it really upset me when I realized that I had screwed up. I had not pressed record on the actual part where we're opening. I pressed record on the audio. I pressed record on the face cam, and I forgot to press record on the... Uh, video it, it's a few days later and it still hurts like i felt so bad after it however i i think i figured out a way that you guys can still enjoy the opening as if it's your first time you know it's i literally just opened it as if that happened so i put them back in the packs i used the audio to kind of um but when i would call out the comments i put them back exactly like that and then i have the big pulls i even took those out and put them back into the packs so i want you guys to be able to at least enjoy it as if it's the first time I'm really sorry. I, I completely screwed up and it really sucks, but I think that it'll work out okay. So at least you guys get to see it 
as if it's the first time and it'll be enjoyable still. But basically my camera face cam had died twice because the video was so long. So I was worrying about the camera dying again and like in the middle of an LOB or a Metal Raiders like first edition poll or something like that. And ironically, I just, rather than my camera dying, I just didn't start the other camera. So I just completely ruined, ruined everything. So fortunately, I think this will work out okay, but I hope it's good enough guys and you at least can enjoy it for the first time. And whether or not you guys even believe, you know, whatever polls we get, and you know, some people will be like, well, you clearly just, uh, you know, put some in an empty pack, you know, whatever you want to say. But yeah, there's nothing I can do more than that. It was either just let it cut off and say, sorry guys, that's it. That's the end of the video, which obviously I was not going to do when I've hyped up the 10K for so long. I promised you guys I was going to open everything. And, you know, I'm not just going to skip the last 10 packs. So I'm going to get it in there and try and do it as best as I can so that you guys can enjoy it. So really sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I kind of screwed it up by not pressing record, but I'm going to do the best I can to make it enjoyable for you guys. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, here we go. Tournament pack three, potential needleworm. So let's see if we can pull something absolutely insane. Centered needleworm. That would be worth every single pack. So that'd be crazy. Let's see if we can do it. Highly doubt it. Okay, we go this way. Little Chimera, Dragon Capture Jar, and Dark Elf. So all commons in that one. Next up, Labyrinth of Nightmare, first edition. Let's try and pull a magic cylinder. I don't know if it's from a 36 pack box, but that would be pretty epic. So here we go. Shining Abyss, Mayakutai, The Portrait Secret, The Dark Door, Infinite Cards, that's a good rare. Scroll of Witchment, The Rock Spirit, and Flame Dancer. This is actually a pretty pricey rare. It's like a few dollars, so that's nice. All right, Let's see what those comments. Next, we've got the number one McDonald's set. Can we pull something? Oh, here we go. Mega Sonic Eye and Flying Penguin. Okay, Flying Penguin, that's a nice common. Very nice. All right, we'll sleeve those up. Pretty cool. McDonald's pack. Okay. Pharaoh Servant, first edition. Jinzo, let's do this. That would be absolutely nuts. Come on, here we go. Time Seal, Science Soldier, Driving Snow, Harpy's Brother, Jinzo! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Boom! Yes! One pack! One pack! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's what I did on the first time I pulled a Jinzo. Oh my good! Was that one of my monsters? Yes! We tied it up! And that tied it up with Chelsea. I'm, I just screamed so much. Unreal <laughs> pull. That makes up for all the dud packs. And probably scale packs. Oh my God. Holy crap! That was insane! I saw, okay, I knew it was a foil when I saw the edge, and then I saw Effect Monster, and I was like, no, no. Maybe Buster Blader? Jinzo. Jinzo! What is this? <laughs> that makes, that makes up for all those bad packs we just had. Oh my goodness. All right, my camera's already died twice, so let's keep going. I'm gonna keep that right there. Jinzo First Edition. <laughs> Tournament Pack 2, can we get a Morphing Jar? If we get a morphing jar, that's even crazier. Hey, but these are my these are my cards. Dancing Elf. Okay, all the cards in here are valuable, so this is good. Twitter King Rex isn't that good. Darmican. I think Dancing Elf is actually like ten plus dollars for a common, so that's a good pull. Unbelievable, Jinzo. I'm shocked. Okay, so now we've got a uh, Magic Ruler and Spell Ruler First Edition, which some have said simply unlucky. That this is an error set. It is not. It is not an error set, but it is a pretty rare set just because the European sets had a lower print run and stuff like that. The cool thing about it is it's the only spell ruler that's first edition. So pretty cool. So we're going to start off with the magic ruler first edition pack first. And let's see what we can pull. All right. Whew. K 
can we put, I mean, do we have any luck left? I don't think so. Here we go. Stone Ogre Grotto, Taylor of the Fickle, Chain Energy, High Tide Yijin, Manga Ryuran, Electric Snake, Minar, Flash Assailant, and Turtle Oil. So nothing in that one, but that's okay. I feel like my camera's about to die again. Time out. Okay. Time out. Okay. Spell Ruler First Edition Error Set. This is a two or three hundred dollar pack. I think I made two hundred. Um, I got it from Halo God. He hooked me up for two, hooked me up for two hundred. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Very expensive. Not worth it at all because the cards inside are actually pretty easy to find. Um, Euro First Editions, but the actual pack is crazy. So here we go. Maybe we'll pull something cool. M R L E. Curse of Fiend. Magical Labyrinth. Peacock. Hero Shadow Scout. Dark Zebra, Pale Beast, Mystic Plasma Zone, and Car- Oh, here's a, here's one of the cool um, LOB cards. They had like 20 cards that went from LOB, and they put them in Spell Ruler because they didn't have them in the European LOB set. So, pretty cool there. But, uh, yeah, $200 down the drain on that one. But, we pulled a Jinzo, so who cares? <laughs> Unreal. Okay, yeah, we got the Metal Raiders promotional pack. We'll put that with the Metal Raiders. Let's go to Tournament Pack 1. Any foil in here is insane. Even the commons and rares are very valuable. So let's see what we can do. Anything like that would be incredible. Cool got to A. I pulled this one out of my last tournament pack one. Cyber Soldier of Dark World. That's not bad. And an Oslo here. So we didn't get a rare, unfortunately. But all these tournament pack one commons are a few dollars. So I'm going to put those in a sleeve. And we're down to the last three packs, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this huge opening. We definitely finished it off hot. And make sure you guys share the video and like because it was pretty epic. Let's start with a promotional pack. You should never open these because they're just commons. But I'm opening it because we're opening every pack. So I'll show you guys what two commons are in here. I honestly don't know. I guess it's just random Metal Raiders commons. Oh, cool. Why join the Duelist King tournament? Duelist King tournament. Not Duelist Kingdom. Duelist King. Interesting. Exclusive card packs. Challenging tournaments. Incredible prizes. And the chance to become a duelist king. Little Swords of Avail. Hey, we got Kaminari attack. This is actually one of the best commons. So, I guess we did well for our... Four, I think I spent 30 bucks, 34 bucks on that pack. So, we got like about a dollar back. So, not bad. <laughs> so, we got like about a dollar back. So, not bad. <laughs> okay. Metal Raiders and LOB. I know for a fact this is unweighed. I pulled it out of a blister myself. So, if we pull anything crazy out of here, I might lose my mind. First edition Metal Raiders. Obviously, the go-to would be Summon Skull. Gate Guardian would be great as well. So here we go. Jurak Umo, Blackland Fire Dragon, Steel Scorpion, Prevent Rat, and a Magician of Faith. Hey, that's a good rare though. Magician of Faith, probably the best rare in the set. I will. I mean, I would probably send that in to get graded because it's probably worth a hundred bucks in ten. Larva Moth, Water Ammonics, and Bickery Box. We didn't get. We didn't get the Bacanio Moth, unfortunately. It comes down to this, guys. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes. We already got the Jinzo. Can we, can we top it with a Blue Eyes White Dragon? How about any foil? How about any foil? The final pack. Here we go. First edition LOB. Come on. All right. All, everything in here is worth money, so we got to be careful. All right. Kumu Toko. Make sure you guys check out my LOB booster box opening. First edition. It was crazy. Forest. There we go. Skull Servant. Here we go. Let's get something epic. Green Phantom King. Here's the big one. Dra Dragon Capture Jar. Oh, nothing. We got nothing, but I will probably grade all these commons and rares because they're worth something. So nothing in the LOB pack, unfortunately. But we did hit something insane. That I cannot complain about. I'm extremely happy with this opening because of this card. Genzo. Alright guys, there it is. That's what happened. I think some of the commons may have been mixed up, but other than that, that was exactly what we pulled. And obviously, we didn't pull that great outside of one pack where we pulled Incredible and we pulled the Genzo. So this actually is the Genzo that we pulled. And I have no idea what this looks like on the screen. You probably can't see it, but yeah, it's a little dark. But there you go, Genzo First Edition, our second one ever. And I, like you saw how pumped I was, I was so pumped to pull that. And then as soon as the recording ended, I checked my videos 
and the video was not there. And I realized I didn't press record. So it, it went from the most bittersweet moment in my entire life, pulled the Genzo, and then didn't have it on camera. So it was like an incredible pull, but we missed it. So I hope I even put it back in the pack with no sleeve, guys. So like that hurt me to do, but I had to do it so that you guys could at least see it, get the reaction with it, and maybe at least be at least close to as good as it would have been. But yeah, that's that's all I could do. I hope you guys did enjoy the whole video. We got most of the packs on camera, so you guys can go ahead and bash me in the comments for forgetting to press record if you even make it to two and a half hours in or whatever we're at. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the 10K special. Let me know in the comments what other big openings should I do? Can we plan for? Can we strive toward like we have with this one? Maybe I won't forget to press record next time. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Secret. <laughs>